she was just there for the season. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. God damn me. Coming in crystal clear. Crew season podcast. We're back again. This is episode 143. 40, <laughs> <laughs> lost count, man. So we ever going to do seasons? We ever going to do seasons? Seasons. What seasons? Nah, no, I can't have them. See you, though. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I got to Google that one. Benvenidos. I don't know about that. I gotta it's go with that. It's the S Cool Season Podcast. The S. <laughs> it's the S. Kenny T is in the building. OT is in the building. What's good? Got my smokers in the building. What's cracking? Sure, they see it's another episode of Cool Season Podcast, man. <clears throat> Fellas doing on this glorious afternoon. Feeling well. Feeling well. First off, a Cinco de Mayo. <clears throat> Did y'all get a little intoxicated last night? Nope. Nope. That's Chill. how I was in the crib. Kicked it. Laid back. That's how I know niggas getting washed. Laid back. Hey. I might have had a drink or two. Mm-hmm. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny was part Mexican yesterday. I seen some uh, Instagram story clips. Huh? What, what oh, the hood nigga you. told you about oh. me, man? Mm. Give me my credit. Give me my credit first. Somebody was telling you. I mean, somebody was snitching. What, what happened? It was off camera. What, 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 hey, hey, give me my credit. By what? Ain't nobody want to hear about what, that. What, what, what Ain't nobody want to hear yeah. about that. Give me my credit. I speak for the hood niggas. You hear me? All hood niggas around the world feel me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> nigga didn't say no such a thing. No such thing. I don't remember nothing. Trying to make my nigga feel good. I was drunk. Oh, man. You always got to go too far. You get niggas an answer, boy. I was dreaming. Hey man, hey, people won't give you credit, dog. Speaking of credit, man, um, recently it was a birthday party last night. Chris Brown turned 34 mm-hmm. years old. Mm-hmm. We seen some footage came out, you know, with some singing the happy birthdays. Like a bunch of R&B people was there, Mario's and Usher's and mm-hmm. Tiana Taylor's, and you know, the who's who of the R&B world was there. It looked like a you know a pretty dope party, man. And then we woke up to some news, mm-hmm. some very unfortunate news. Damn. That said, members of Chris Brown's entourage jumped on Usher last night. So he left with a bloody nose and things of that nature. Now, the whole party was Usher's idea. Usher threw the party for him, just for context. Mm. And then this happened. Now, in the video, you know, they were singing to Chris. And people always talk about, you know, Chris couldn't stay still. He was fidgety. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I don't, I don't know if y'all been around drug addicts before, but... You know, it was a lot of uh, symptoms, a lot of, a lot of cocaine system, right? <laughs> like what? Cocaine just fidgeting, can't stay still. He caught just yeah. quick jerks, shit like that, okay. wiping the nose, stuff like that. Okay. Like that's how you know somebody is on mm-hmm. cocaine. Um, but yeah, so we were seeing that. So uh, long story long, they say he was drunk. They say he was high, and uh, he ended up getting into it with Tiana Taylor. An argument happened between Chris Brown and Tiana Taylor. Damn. Usher came, comes in to intervene. Say, hey, y'all chill, relax, blah, blah, blah. Chris drunk, high, turned up. And, you know, things things get a bit physical. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, I ain't really got a question. I just wanted to run that by y'all, see what y'all thought. How, how, I think it was crazy. That's all it's I crazy, dog. <laughs> it's rumors until we see a video. That, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like shit like that shouldn't even hit the timeline. Y'all know what that do for everybody, <clears throat> reputation and all that type of shit. That when you that big, so my opinion, shit like that should be kept on the hush. You know what I'm saying? But since it got out, that's unfortunate that the shit happened. But you know, shit involved, look involved, and he go involved. You know, shit, shit get tense, shit get real tense, and shit that's what happened. Or she might have said some shit out of mm. line of them arguing with Tiana Taylor and shit. You know. Tiana strikes me as a woman that can hold her own. You know what I'm saying? And they was like, bitch ass nigga, what you say? And it it went, but I could see <laughs> them also saying C B need to chill out. Yeah, of course. He, you know they You know he's talking to people a little too reckless or something like that. He needs to chill out. Then he got his boys, they want to turn up. It's just unfortunate. Cause he already got a history. You know what I'm saying? And trying to beat that 
have the mm. people content, you know, continuously putting that, that ain't no on your bro. name. Yeah, it is. Bro, 19 years old and all the other allegations is, but, is lying on you. But it's even stuff after that, too. facts. It's situations similar to if this. If I put you, hey. It's situations I, similar to this that's also out, behind that. I could care less what type of duress it was under. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I was getting you out of my energy. Okay, but what no about after how that? I did it. What about after that? What you mean? What Just else? altercations with people. What about, like, just like. I am not allowed to have altercations with niggas. <laughs> yeah, but it don't make it don't make your brand look good. Don't make your image I, look good. I, I understand that. that, but the allegations of the nineteen situation, the man thirty three years old. That wasn't no allegation. Yeah, you know, the shit happened when he was nine. What, what he was 18, 19, whatever the fuck he was. He was, sure. he was young. But it happened. Real young. Now he a grown man with kids, and all the shit that ever was tied to that or tried to be tied to that was false after that. I don't know about everything. Right. Everything. Right. Everything I mean, he went to court for. I mean, everything he, he went to court for, he beat it, right? Him and, him, and, him and Drake got into a bit of altercation. Yeah. Like one of these restaurants, they say glasses were Didn't he throw a bottle one time? No, no I'm, I'm talking about with women, like with him but putting his hands on women. But it's still you know what I'm saying? him being physical with somebody. And I can't be physical with no and, niggas. And him, him going back and forth with women, the allegations, the Rihanna stuff, and then it this the, what sparked this was Tim getting mm. into it with Tiana Taylor? I so can't argue like, with a woman. It's right in line. No, I hear you. No, you, no, you, no, you cannot. A okay, especially a woman you. that that's not yours. No. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Especially in an aggressive enough fashion where people got to step in. Hey, yeah, y'all yeah, chill. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. If they step in like that, then yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's different problem. between debating and then things getting aggressive. Mm -hmm. Even if y'all start hollering, like people know the, the tones of aggression. Of course, and just y'all having a passion argument. So yeah. And, and that's what the head scratching stuff about it to me was like Usher just seemed like such a just chill, laid back dude. You know, again, he was singing the man happy birthday. <laughs> How does it go from that to your entourage jumping on the man? Maybe he had a better voice than him that night. <laughs> <laughs> every night, nigga. That's Usher. Every night he got a better voice. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't know about every night. Shit. But maybe just that night. You know what I'm saying? My boy CB didn't have it together. All I'm saying the is the T wasn't working. Is that it's just disappointing. And this is the type of stuff because Chris Brown always complains about his imaging, like mm -hmm. why people treat him the way that they do and things of that nature. But he just has a long history of issues that a lot of artists just don't have, man. And a lot of it is brought on by himself, just like the whole gang banging after you turn famous thing. Why? You're a pop star. People love you. Why are you banging a blood set at 23? Because you got to check in. I wish I would be have a part of somebody to check in. I wish I would Apparently. have millions of dollars and be checking in with anybody besides my wife and my kids. You got to be affiliated, and you you know you got all the rest worldwide of that, connects. Y'all better miss me. U.S. Bro. connects, whatever it is. You, U.S. You connects. Got, you got you got protection. Shh. But I, that's that's his security excuse. because I Usher, got protection. Usher ain't making no game. He been in this longer than Chris Bryant. Exactly. He don't act like he tough either. Exactly. That is true. So that speaks to his longevity and his image, and that's what I'm saying. You can learn something from that man. You getting into it with him at your birthday that he threw, and I'm a Chris Brown fan. That's the wild part. I don't even. I hate even have to come down on like yeah, this. Yeah, you actually voted Chris Brown over Usher in the verses. Of course. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Of course. Insane. That's a fact. Insane. Wait, 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 did I? It, it yeah. Originally, until I started yes. running them down. I don't remember that. You hey, did it until I started running them down, and you was like, yeah, you might be right. He over us. We was just part. We was just part. Boy, get out of here, smooth. I'm <laughs> telling you. Get out of here, smooth. Over us, get out of here, smooth. We, we ain't going to start this today. Man, hey, CB is the second greatest pop artist we ever seen on this planet. Boy, get out of here. I mean, pop, okay, but he not better than Usher. <sighs> Yeah, man. Thank you. Versus, yeah, versus, yeah. versus with Usher. Usher. Usher got too many classic. Now, Thank if we say Usher can't use confessions, then we got to argue. <laughs> what the point of happening? We, we, we got to use everything that they wrote personally. We got to use everything they wrote personally. You know what I'm saying? That might be even deeper. No, no. no. Usher. Uh, Usher didn't write nothing. <laughs> <laughs> JD wrote the whole confession. Oh, you crazy. Everything on confession, JD wrote. That's a fact. Get out of here. All right, man. We're going to uh, stay within R&B. Uh, recently, one of, the, one of the legends, man. Uh oh, oh. Boy, I like that transition, boy. Appreciate it. I like that transition, boy. I'm working, I'm working on it. Off the glass. One of the legends. <laughs> you may have seen I hate it. that he introduced me like this. <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't want to let you don't let be professional. <laughs> niggas don't want to let you elevate in, in this life, man. And that's why we can't the have nothing. The situation. Not that's a community, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
as a community, we well, can we're talking about R and B. That's another <laughs> artist. <laughs> That's why I say, man. But like I was saying, R and B legend, Brian McKnight. You may have seen him on an episode of Martin. You may have you known one of his classic mm. hits. Mm. Or many of his classic hits. Mm-hmm. But it's been rumored throughout history that he's been a bit of an asshole. A lot of people who work with him, collab with him, from the hair, uh, hairstylists to the choreographers of the videos and things of that nature, he just has a reputation of being difficult to work with and an asshole. Mm-hmm. And then recently, about a week ago, um, it was one of his kids' birthday. Now, he's in a new relationship. Prior to this relationship, he was in another one uh, that yielded, I think, four or five kids or so. So he had four or five kids coming into this situation, and now he's with his new lady, and she has kids of her own. That was one of these kids of her own's birthday. And he has some things to say in his caption in regard to this kid. Basically, referencing her as if she's the only daughter that he's ever had. <laughs> Say he didn't really know fatherhood until he had her as a daughter. He's so proud of her and what she's accomplishing and things of that nature. And people are accusing him of disregarding his prior family. What is the song that really still speaks to you after all of these albums you've worked on? Well, the the ones that do, the only ones that speak to me are the ones that I've written since Leilani came into my life because those are the only ones that have a meaning. Mm. Wow. Uh, sure, there were big hits before then, but they weren't based on anything because I never even liked anyone before I met her. Um, oh, wow. The first time my, I felt my heart beat was the day that she came into my life. So everything that I wrote before then wasn't based on anything romantic. It was just, ma- it was arithmetic. I just want to get y'all a notion on when y'all seen the, you know, the riff raff and y'all went did y'all research, what was the first thing that came to mind when y'all seen it? Did y'all have the same sentiment or did y'all feel like people just blowing this out of proportion? Oh, man, I, when I first seen it, I said, money can't buy you integrity. That's what I seen. And that boy, how you with so, how long was the first marriage? You got five kids? It had to be a I minute. Mean, it's like, I think like four. Yeah, it was a long time. Four, five kids, bro? That's crazy. Mm. And then you finally get a new girl and say, you know what? I ain't got no kids. I think. <laughs> He's 50 years old. I ain't got no kids. I think it's pettiness. Bro. It's, some, it's, a, it's a reason behind it. It got to be like some beef between him and the mama or something or. Gotta be him and I bet, kids, it, I no? bet it's some money. It's some money. It's some money involved. Of course. They got some do some money. They probably I, Come on. it got Come to on. be. For you to just diss on your kids like that? They always come in here for something. I mean, well, unless he's always been like that. Oh, uh, he say he say he uh he been an asshole for a while, so yeah, but, you may be right. But has he always just not been there for his kids? Well see, that's something that we ain't gonna never know. But from the from how the kids moving, mm-hmm. like you would you would think that. You would think he ain't been that active. I mean, you know how we talk about not nah, trust me, by any means. I'm not giving him no disclaimer. I'm not giving him no room to breathe, nothing like that. But S- sound like you shouldn't. Some we have discussed, and I'm, I'm just saying this could be an instance of where we talk about how the men and the, the women have a bad relationship, and they just be like, "Man, I just can't deal with it. I'm out." Five, four kids. It, it could be one of those type of situations where the mom and him button heads and he just, he can't deal so with it. So he button heads and put, him putting that thing in her while he button heads and with four kids. No, nah, but the thing is, though, <clears> it could <throat> be a situation where the mama turned the kids against him. It's like 50 situation. Right. Something like that. She you know what, what? She only had one kid to do that with, right? Right. True. But four kids, bro? Something, something, it's po- something, it's something possible. deeper, bro. It, it could happen the same way. Yeah, but it's something deeper with four kids. She putting bro. something in his ear. They into it. And then they not seeing him. So they only taking her side. And then you grow up with enough of that and be turned into resentment. Just like 50 son. 50 and his mama was beefing, you know what I'm saying? So it was, you know, he was living with his mama. 50 tried to get him to come live with him and everything. And she brainwashed him so much that so he, didn't, he didn't want to. He, he just wanted money from him. And then the minute 50 didn't want to give him the money that he wanted, that's when it turned into what it is. Right. But, you know, so people can accuse 50 of doing that because 50 had this new kid with this, you know, lady in an arrangement. And he done been posting the, the new kid on his socials, and I love my son, and da, 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 I'm going to be the father for him that I never was, and blah, blah, blah. So he could be you know, accused of doing the same thing, but we know a bit more context behind that, so mm-hmm. it's understandable in comparison to Brian McKnight. I feel like we don't got enough context yeah. on the situation to just jump to conclusions. But Brian McKnight history don't help him, which is why, you know, because I always wondered, I was like, damn, 
No, because Brian Minetti legend. Like, why wasn't there more collabs back in the day? Right. Because, like, you know, back then, he come from the era, that, that era, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. where it was just R&B mm-hmm. legends. You know what I'm saying? Like, R&B Stacked was that middle, the dominant songs. fashion. You know what I'm saying? But you never really seen him do a lot of collabs like that. Think about it. That's a fact. In comparison to somebody like Joe, or comparison to somebody like Case, or even Usher. Usher's from that coffee as well, mm-hmm. but... You see all of them doing a bunch of collabs, but you never see him doing collabs like that. That is a fact. But it's again, it's been rumored throughout history that he's difficult. Like he, he, he in that Luther he, era too, huh? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Tum, 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 tum. Don't tell me he sab- <laughs> don't tell me he sabotaged his career in a way. I don't. I don't. I don't think he has. No, I'm talking about to where he could have been a he, he big artist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger. yeah, he could have been. Of the stratosphere, definitely. Just by not, by definitely. not wanting to collab. He could have been be, Luther. Be he could have been Luther level. Definitely. Damn. He damn sure had the the, I, the skill set. You don't think he was that. at Luther level already? No. Nah. Luther, no. Luther's a legend. No, Luther. I mean, well, Brian and I legend too, but, yeah, I, but Luther as far on, as hit for hit, classic for nah. nah. I mean, yeah, Luther got more, but uh, yeah, uh, have, a, have a cross your mind. It's classic. I ain't, I ain't yeah, taking that away. Yeah, I ain't taking nothing away from mine. <laughs> Never but too much. Stacking it up. <laughs> what you want to go song for song? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I want to try okay. to go song for song. song. Okay. They go, they, they get compared song for song. Yeah, because if we going stacking up, I'm, I'm I'm going Luther. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, for sure. For all right, I read into the Brian. You know, okay, stuff. come on, Kenny. Kenny, you read the report. Ooh, 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 ooh. Kenny T, the journalist. Accusations. Okay, well let us know then. Brian and I got four kids: two sons and a daughter. It says four. I don't know about the other one. Uh, two of them are drug heads. Mm-hmm. Uh, the daughter supposedly uh, is dating a cousin. And when Brian McKnight made a call to CPS about it, nothing happened. And he was blocked by all social medias by the daughter and the mother. Uh, that's why he fell out with the daughter. Uh, his now Told wife tried to get the two sons a job at the hospital because mm-hmm. she's a doctor. They didn't want to do it because they didn't want to take the drug test. <laughs> Hey, man. Uh, hey. These uh, cock sources. Brian Jr. broke into the house, sex. put All X's on their wedding pictures, All and then put uh, put his first marriage uh, picture on the uh, desk of so the his now wife. So jealous because they wanted them to stay with their mom. Uh, so, yeah, I think there's a lot more to this shit than we know. And I don't even think I could call him a deadbeat. Because he said he'd been, he was giving them, spoiling them from the age of 23 and 22. That's when he cut them off completely. Mm. Oh, well, yeah, in that case, yeah, no. Nah. Give them money. But so. Again, make, I, what I was just thinking about, too, is thinking about how many famous people that have kids that don't want to just give their kids money. Or after a certain amount of time, it's like, hey, it's time for you to get it on your own. Kirk Franklin. And the Can't only way for me to do this is, is for me to completely cut you loose. You got to cut the strings loose because some people just don't. That's the only way they learn. I feel like the ones that do that, they know they got lazy kids. You get what I'm saying? Like, they got, they know they got kids that don't want to do nothing. They only want to, hey, give it to me. You know what I'm saying? But Because I, I don't see but you in, in mass, that. I don't see in mass, like, the majority of them doing that to their kids. You got to take credit for that, though, Smoke? No. Huh? I say as a parent, do you got to take credit for that? You definitely got to take credit for that. You got damn right. Because I literally give you everything. You know what I'm saying? You got damn right. You were supposed to start them off young. Motherfucker, this is my money. You gonna earn every inch of this. You gonna go get you a job when you 16, 17. Nah, a lot of parents don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not going with Man, that. They don't, they don't want you to stress about finances. No, nah, they don't want you stressing about you know, that. They, they, they want you. That. Kids get spoiled. When you got money, you want to give your kids a better I life. Get my son, exactly. I want to get my son so, everything. Yeah. So they get spoiled regardless. Whether you see it as as much spoiling as the person above you that has more money than you, uh-huh. they're still getting spoiled. That is true. And to, for that case, it's like at the age of 16, you're not going to want your kids to get a job because you want them to worry about their education. Mm-hmm. In a sense, you, don't yes. want, you don't want them struggling. But in the summertime, motherfucker, you're going to do something. You ain't going to sit down and do nothing. And I guarantee you, mm-hmm. them kids that Brian McKnight got, he let them sit around and do whatever the fuck they wanted to do every summer. Because he probably was like, shit, you been busting your ass in school the whole time. Man, nah, that ain't enough. If, if, if that's what you do, it, you don't want to burn your kids out in sports, and you don't want to burn them out in school. That ain't enough. You know why? If, if they got to sit here and, and, and bust their ass all year round, taking college courses, making straight A's, and all of a sudden, when it comes to summertime, they're two months or three months off. They get, they got to worry about going to work now, waking up. At the age of 16, what, what, waking up to go grass? to work. I guarantee you none of them picked up a lima before. I can guarantee that. Hey, he still got to go. In that big-ass house. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I can guarantee it, you. It, he wouldn't say, hey, bro, 
I need y'all cutting that grass from from June uh, uh, fifth. All the way to August uh, uh, 9th, I need y'all cutting that grass. You, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like you, I need everybody to cut All of us, cut, you ain't cutting grass every day. Yeah, that's cause you he, cutting that's grass cause, twice a month. That's because Brian McKnight don't own a lawnmower. He got somebody coming to cut the grass. And already. see, that's the problem. I got somebody cutting the grass while they in school, nah. right? You getting your grades, you ain't got to worry about nothing, do your thing. But the moment you, the moment that you graduate out that grade, Boy, we got limo, boy. That limo, we got to dust off that them, them all, them all spider webs, motherfuckers. You gonna work? You gonna know what it is to earn some money? This is how you earn your your uh, allowance right here. You take the you you do this here. You got daughters. You, you clean the kitchen up, uh, fellas. Y'all 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 take the trash out when all that's checked off. That's when you get paid. And if you don't do none of this, you don't get paid. That's how it should work. But none of them do that. And they wonder why they kids lazy, grow up to be grown ass men, can't change a tire on a bike. Mm. Yeah, I, I, no, I agree. I was looking for shit to do around the house. You know what I'm saying? Need me to fix it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Bubba, how much you give me for this? You know what I'm saying? 15, 15, 15. All right, baby, baby. They're like, yeah, the garage. I'm not saying you gotta go get them a job. I'm doing, I'm tripping the, the hedges. I'm doing everything by myself. Yeah, give me all. I don't need no help. I got four brothers. I do it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it all. And you gotta realize, they allowance was way bigger than what you did in the regular person would get. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me you can't go cut grass for three months? He said, fuck that. I don't see you, Dad. You always on tour, and then when you come back, you give me chores to do. Mm. Mm. I hear you. I hear you. You I go hear you. and come back and give me orders. I hear you. <laughs> you give me. <laughs> you don't take these orders. Your ass is going down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I agree you need chores, but I mean, some people still, you, you, you still, when you get that, that money, you still spoil people. I mean, I don't care. We, we do it to our wives, and. Our kids, we still spoil them. No matter how much we try to say, oh, we ain't gonna spoil our kids. Motherfuckers get whatever they want. That is true. Lying, man. I just bought my son some damn, yeah. some more shoes today. And a toy. I'm a sucker for real. <laughs> I just feel like I'm a sucker. And he ain't cut one blade of grass. <laughs> my dog five, man. <laughs> my dog five, man. I don't go make him do that, man. My dog five, man. He should have been, been doing it two years ago. My dog. I was washing dishes. Four years old. 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 He couldn't four even pull no meat out of the goddamn refrigerator. <laughs> He should be doing how to start a barbecue pit there. Oh, so he, don't, he, don't even pick, he don't even pick up his own his own toys. He don't he water the grass. He look at dad and say, "Hey, dad, you pick up the toys." Hey, what you five? mean? Oh no, nah, he pick up his toys. He got too many. I got tired of that. Oh, <laughs> man, last time I walked in that house, Matt was in there on, on all fours picking up toys with a, with a sponge and a, and a mop bucket. <laughs> Man, y'all niggas better stop playing. Junior had a Capri Sun in his mouth. Like, <laughs> Only <laughs> up. <laughs> Riding his back. <laughs> nigga, hey, don't let them niggas lie to y'all. Don't let them niggas lie to y'all. Hey, my son get off on me right now. He's five. He get off on me. That's it, man. What happened, dog? Man, you don't know, dog. You don't <laughs> know, man. You going to be putting your foot down, fam. What up? <laughs> Speaking of kids. <clears throat> Boy, we be giving this nigga a layup. <laughs> we got to stay in the room. Kids in R&B. <laughs> Ironically, Marcus Houston uh, was recently. Uh, <laughs> how we transitioned? Oh my God! How we transitioned? Oh my God! Give me my credit. Oh my God. Give me my credit. That's foul right there. How we transitioned? She was eighteen. That was crazy, bro. That was crazy. Bro. She was eighteen. <laughs> my credit, man. Hey, yo, kids in R and B. The computer was it? Bro. No, bro. Kids in oh R&B. Legendary R&B child star, ironically. Marcus Houston mm. was recently in the news catching a bit of heat. Mm -hmm. Now, it's alleged that he was red-shirting. <laughs> mm. <laughs> for, <those, laughs> for those who don't know what red-shirting is, right, it's when you meet a woman and she's very young and mm. you supposedly, or I mean, not supposedly, allegedly, wait on her to become of age Maintaining contact with her as friends, and that when she becomes of age, boom, we are a loving couple now. A lot of men do that. Um, it's a bit I'm sick. Of us do that. It's a bit sick, in my opinion. But a lot of men do that. So Mark Houston recently came under fire for that, and uh, you know we're gonna play the clip, I guess, to give us just a bit more context. I know, I know a few people from where we from did that. 
Yeah. A lot of them officers. That, that's a fact. Uh, wow. Like, I'm going to play this clip, man, and get into it. My wife, she was 17. We had no really conversation and no really connection until she was of age. You know, when we did finally start to talk, I was like, this woman is like me. We both love God. Get the f*** out of here. Any 36-year-old man who says he saw himself and had so much in common with a 17-year-old girl. They haven't paid a goddamn bill but their cell phone in their life. They probably still live with their parents. You saw it when she was underage. Otherwise, That's you wouldn't have spun the block. You nasty-ass man. You nasty man. Young ladies who are 21 and younger. Any man who is, who is above 30 years old who is not your father does not have your best interest mm. as their number one priority. I implore you, no matter how intelligent you are, no matter how advanced you are, these men are predators. Any man that will hide behind a veil of God to justify <laughs> his pursuit of you at that young, tender, vulnerable age is a f***ing liar. I met my wife. She was 17. We had no really conversation. He said when I met my wife, she was 17 and through the grace of God hey. and my belief hey. in the cloth, what I hey. always say. he led her to me. That's what I always say. Where do you meet at? Church. What I always say. Facts. So he used a God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really want to know how he met her. So God didn't even it put him together. I need, hey. to, I need to know how he met her. Throw a little spirit of God that's, that's in there. Well. I'm telling you, I told you. 17 what I told 17 year old. You. What well, I told y'all. He said everybody they, wanna talk they, to this guy. Had, they had no conversation until she was 18. Said no conversation of that nature. Of that nature. Yeah, yeah he, friendship. He was mentoring her. <laughs> so to be his wife. There was Somebody grooming her. There was a her video was too. It was like uh, it was her. <laughs> it's your <him>. birthday. <laughs> wow. We wow. eyed him now. We there going live. Video on the video seen. It was her and him outside somebody's house. They were doing like Jehovah's Witness stuff. See, bro, mm. they were working, they were for, working for the Lord. They were joined through Christ. Smooth. You, you, uh, you, you heavy in the cloth. Chill out. Boy, don't you? Hey, hey, you heavy in the cloth. Boy, don't you? Don't you ever do that to me? What's your thoughts on that situation? Tell them, smooth. In terms of the cloth. Tell them about it. I see you at Board Chapel. Hey, boy, y'all ain't gonna catch me in no type of church building ever, boy. Yeah, that boy, that boy hiding behind y'all gods. Oh, no, to be a pedophile. That's cold. Next. Hey, hey, he to get that boy, that boy was, that boy was in the pastors and the deacons in there. Yeah, you know at least the pastor and them get on your wife. Chill out. They don't be talking about Damn. getting on your daughter. They, hey. I told you. I told hey. you. Switch it up. That boy, I told you that boy was in there, huh? 16, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. man, we're going to lean into it. Go ahead, smoke. Get in your back. <laughs> we're going to lean into it because Bro. I'm tired of this Bro. shit, man. I'm tired of people Bro. using Chill out. the Lord and Savior. No, no, no. You know why? As you know why it's fucked these up? It's these people. You know why it's fucked up? It's, it's, a, it's, these it's a lot of them. Nah, but you know why it's fucked it's up? It's these people. Back in the day, back in the day, when he was with uh, uh, B2K and them, he was running around with them. You immature, know, immature, immature. You know they was mm -hmm. they had them allegations on them, which turned out to be factuals, factual dactuals. You know what I'm saying, me? And I could, I, I know, I seen him go to the po a podium thanking God for all them awards. But was you thanking God when you was doing all them activities with that young boy? You know Whoa. what I'm saying, me? What oh you thank God. God? Hey, <laughs> thank God it's in front of me. Hey man, he is out Come on, man. Um, Come on, man. But so now you you want to thank God for being a pedophile? Let's let's spin God, it. Dang. Let's reel it in. Let's reel with a break. Let's reel it in. Let's speak to I told the process of red shirting. Hey. There's people in this space. Tiger is another one. Red shirted Kylie Jenner. Drake has some boys for him about that. Act your age and not your girl's age. You know what I'm saying? Red shirted her. Allegedly drink. Allegedly. Allegedly. Hey, so man. what's y'all thoughts on that process, man? That's all petty behavior, bro. Y'all know y'all know what it is, bro. If she not of age, bro, like, <clears throat> I can see I can see if you say the girl 17 and you 18, 19, maybe 20. Y'all y'all seen each other going through school and all that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. y'all seen each other like growing through this shit. But God, she she 17, bro, and you 30, you 25, bro. Right. Bro, the, you know, that, that that's petty behavior, bro. No matter how that girl see you cuz all them girls at that age, they they be blinded on man. I gotta get they up. They dumb mind. and gullible. Yeah. Let's call it what it's it like, is. They dumb and yeah. gullible. They don't yeah. really know what what really is. I'm not with it. And now you with this 36 year old. Let's say he plug her with two babies, right? And I say she get 36. 
how old Marcus going to be? God damn, you trying to give us do back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. My God damn. It's, it's, it's tequila, man. 54? 54? Marcus is going to be 54. Right Something like that. You think she going to still want to be with Marcus? <clears throat> Let's just keep it a bean. She 36, two I, kids. You think she going to want to be with Marcus at 56? If they was joined through Christ. <laughs> The bond should be unbreakable. Well, I know, go. I know. If he was talking to Christ, Christ would have told him, "Boy, you a pedophile, boy." <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Come off that, bro. But he not talking to oh, Christ. Oh my God! <laughs> he talking to something else. He's talking to Satan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he trying to talk to that ass. <laughs> hey. He said, "God, I hear you, but you know what I want." Hey. <laughs> He's like, the, Lord Lord Mac my, on the Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Rest in peace, Barney Mac. <laughs> wow, bro, um, that's sick. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. Parker. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that that process has always made me uncomfortable. It's 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 cringy, um, and a lot of men do that. And the wild part is, is that they'll come out, they'll do that, and then they'll come out and say what he said. Well, nah, we never had any type of relationship before then. It was just, I waited till she was of age, and then we embarked upon the that's a relationship problem. that we in. That's cap, and that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times you can't prove it, so, you, so you're forced to kind of go with it. You're on them Jehovah Witness walks. Yeah, but I just be thinking, like, what is, what the hell do, could we possibly have in common at that point? Like, it, literally nothing. Like, I, w- women that are five years older than me, you can you can hear the immaturity in their voice. You can hear the lack of experience in their voice. And it turns me off. So I could imagine a woman that's 17 years old, 18 years old. It's, it's just, it's like, like, how? How do y'all, what do y'all have in common? The Lord. <laughs> what, bro? What, <laughs> bro? I don't, I don't know, man. No, hell no. Okay, so let's. Okay, here we go. This brings about another question. You guys have a daughter, let's say. Mm-hmm. Whatever you about to say, I know it's a hell no. She's seventeen. <laughs> she comes to you. She says, "Hey, Dad, I met this guy." And I really like him. He's so cool, you know. He's 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 really nice. And you know, mm-hmm. actually, I met him at church on Sunday, and you know, he's 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 of the cloth, and all mm-hmm. of that all of that good stuff, you know. And um, you know, we're thinking about taking this thing to the to the, to the next level. You know, we're actually courting and things of that nature. And I want you to meet him. And she brings a man to your door, and the man is thirty six. What's y'all thoughts on that? Like, how's that interaction gonna go? I'm punching that nigga in the mouth. Punch- as soon as I <laughs> Bro, and if I've been liquored up or something, you know what I'm saying, I might not say a word. I might just go to the clouds and get that thingy, flip it the other way, hit him a few times with in front of her. I want to be I, when I hit him the first time, I'm be looking dead at him, and when he hit the ground and I got his head, I would be looking dead at her. Oh yeah, and you say you said she was seventeen. Seventeen, yes. Yeah, he getting his ass. I'm looking dead at her. Cold cocked. You mm-hmm. gonna know better than this. <laughs> And if you don't, th- you know this is never to be allowed on this front door. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> right. I'm going to let them in the house, and the cops going to be sitting right there. In the- text the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to text the cops. Catch him. I'm to be a predator. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> Chris Hayes, right there. <laughs> exactly. Chris that Hayes. That nigga said that corner so quick. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> <laughs> he that corner so quick, dog. Bro. Get ready, it's real quick. <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. Niggas, you try to run. You try to run away. No, 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 no. Stay, stay. No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got you now, boss. <laughs> yeah, we got the house around. Don't, don't worry about it. No. Um, yeah, no. Nah, I, I agree, man. I said She's the same 17? Thing. 17. He's no. 36. Now, look, some would argue. I'm, and I'm cussing her the fuck out, too. Some, some would argue. She's getting it. Is that historically... This has been the process, right? To where it's an older man who's more established, who has you know and financial it was wrong, back end, and they knew it. Is that nature? And they used to come to the father, so the daughter can go from one covering to the other, mm-hmm. and that was the way things are done. Mm-hmm. Was but now people are catching a lot of heat for that. You know, words like pedo is getting thrown around mm-hmm. and things of that nature. So you know, y'all y'all speak to the transition. Why is there a change if this has been happening for centuries? Bro. It's a law. It's the law and it's been wrong. She ain't seen the dope until the she law. 18. Now she turned 18, came with a 36 year old. <clears throat> I can't do nothing about it. But y'all gotta get it. How would you feel about it? I would be upset. Okay, I just wanna make sure. You know? And so, y'all gotta get up out so, my house. Some of these, this is, yeah, some of these fathers was treating their daughters like dog breeders. As soon as they becoming of age, they were selling them off, That's pimping true. them to the next family that had some bread. That's true. And mm-hmm. have 10 kids by them. 
then have it get another one fresh out the, you know what I'm saying? Kennel. Do it again. Because yep. he was waiting for ass to get out that house. He couldn't afford to pay the mouse. Shit. Wow. <laughs> 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 got to slaughter a cow and got to feed 10 people <laughs> that cow. Damn. But, uh, okay, man. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's just that big of an age gap is just that's always be uncomfortable to me, especially somebody that's of that age. Like, she literally just got off the school bus a year ago. Literally. If he's supposed to be grooming her and things of that nature, right? So that means that you was talking to her while she was going back and forth to school, riding a damn school bus, and now you're in a sexual relationship talking about marriage with this woman. I just it, it's it's hard for me to wrap my head around that. But watch when this when this drop, read the comments. People gonna be in the chat. No, nah, that ain't that bad. It's just you know what I'm saying. Da, 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 da. Like, cause they cause they believe in that age gap. I always catch heat for that when I talk about it in this space. Oh, that's but, fucking sickening, bro. I'm yeah. standing on my square. I don't give a damn. Mm. That's sickening, mm-hmm. bro. <sighs> but I think really quick, I just think it should be college age. Freshman year. That's the most. Like, if you 18, you shouldn't be probably no more than 22. Like at the most. Oh, you talking about the, the age gap? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, once you get, if you 22, 24, then you want to date somebody that's like 31. Okay, you're a little bit older. You got a little more. Experience in life, but you being 17, 18, fresh out, dating somebody in their 30s, hell no. Hell no. It should be 18, just up in there. If you can go to college around this time, that should be because that's that's roughly when you kind of around people your age. Right. But outside of that, hell no. Hell that's no. That's fucking nasty, bro. Ass whooping should, should be in order for more Absolutely. Season. That's just what it is. And that's what I want to. Where, where's her daddy? What's her daddy have to say about this? What did mama say? He, he might not, she might not have one. Well, man, but if she, that if she do, then he, you know, they after that paper. Do she got brothers? They after that paper. How do they feel? I miss my sister with a kind. What? Um, all right, we're gonna keep this thing moving. Speaking of school buses, thirties. God damn! How are we just giving them these easy <laughs> school buses? <laughs> man. School buses are very pivotal to society. Uh-huh. They transport kids back and fro. Oh yeah. shit! I know where we go with that. They transport adults back and fro. Where we going? You and know where we going? A lot of people. You know, uh, a lot of them are older. Some of them in this era, you know, they bus drivers getting younger. I mean, back in the day, all the bus drivers would be old as hell. Old as hell. <laughs> but now, I don't miss you. popsicles <laughs> and candy and shit. Right, that's real. That's real. And you had the same bus driver mm-hmm. from sixth grade <laughs> to mm-hmm. graduation. Yeah. But now, you know, things change. The, apparently, the, the bus bus driving industry is, is you know, thriving now in mm-hmm. terms of the of course, there's more people than on Earth than there was, or in the States than there was back then, too. Mm-hmm. So we got to factor that in. But that occupation used to be looked at with some esteem, man. Cool. Mm-hmm. You established. Know you, you valued the bus driving neighborhood. That was like an extension of the parent. No the That's a fact. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But recently, a young lady didn't feel like that in terms of the occupation of bus driving. She was doing an interview with a young lady named Ebony Williams. Apparently, she's worth about $3 million uh, in net worth. And they was asking her, hey, she was on uh, Ayala. And she was talking about her difficulty dating and things of this nature. And uh, Ayala asked a question. Now, I'm going to play the clip and get y'all take on it. You've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayala, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? A bus driver. You. Would you date if a bus If he owns driver? the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's, a problem. that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm-hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men 
is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. You've said. Would you date a bus driver if he owns the bus? Apparently that occupation is not good enough for no, that woman. She, she said she date. said she would date him if he owned the bus. Right. Mm-hmm. The lady said no. He doesn't own the bus. He's just a bus driver. Mm-hmm. Right. So let's let's give the question that way. He's just a bus driver. He don't own a bus. He's just a bus driver. No, no, no. What? That's how that's how I presented. It. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about her. How she responded. She oh, said, "Would okay. you date a bus driver?" She said, "Does he own the bus?" Mm-hmm. Mm. And Ayana took issue with her posing that question. Why does the man have to own the bus? I stand as a bit too outrageous in comparison to what it is that we may actually deserve, if we're going to put it that way. Hmm. Did y'all take issue with what she said? Because nope. this clip was sent to us about a thousand times. You know her standards are her standards. Right? I, I don't have no issue with it. And she's in the one percenters of shit. If, if she is worth the three million, she's in the one percenters. So in a sense, she's entitled to want what she want. That's just how it works, right? But for most people... That's not how it's going to go down. And <clears throat> bus driver, that's so broad. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can be driving a school bus. You can be driving a metro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know personally they got people in metro that's bus drivers making 100 racks. You know what I'm saying? Literally making 100 racks, bringing it home. They may be working every day, but that's what they doing. They make the money. They make what what... Women in today's society will want a man to make. Now, time, they don't have time for you. Mm. You can't get, most of the time, you're not going to get both, dog. And that's the problem with, with our society. You no. want both. You want somebody that make the 100000 and give you the time. You, odds is, most people going to be working people, they're going to either give you one or the other. They're going to have the time and no money, or they're going to have the money no time. You know what I'm saying? Only a select few people on, on earth can possibly give you both. And that's with them having an established company already, not getting it off the ground. You know what I'm saying? And they only doing meetings type shit. Other than that, like if they just getting in their entrepreneur shit and they just getting the bag, even if they had two, three million dollars, they working every day. So they don't have the time. So I think we live in a society of Damn, man, I think people just lazy, bro, and people just want somebody else to do it for them. And odds is, us men, we fall on that sword of doing it for them. Hey, it's more real quick. S- separate that mic about an inch from you. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing rattling. Gotcha. Right, you're good now. Bus driving as an occupation. <clears throat> it's not good enough, Kenny. She said it ain't good enough. I can't date no bus driver. What was your thoughts when you heard that, man? For her status, I have no problem with it. If she's worth three million dollars, she she knows he's not gonna be able to keep up with the lifestyle that she does, <clears throat> and that's gonna be a big impact on y'all relationship at that. Yep. So no, I have no I have no problem with it. I don't, now, <clears throat> if, if we talking about somebody that's you know making forty thousand a year, or you know at the same income range as him. Then yeah, I, I probably would have I would have a problem with that. Cause you, you, you're demanding more out of somebody else than what you can bring to the table. But, but can you in that circumstance? Would it be in a woman demanding that? Because women, we all know, chasing financial security. Mm-hmm. And if she don't feel comfortable, if she don't feel secure with the man finances. Can we really blame her for not for having a preference? Well, I mean, if she doesn't know what he makes, I mean, I don't. If you don't know that career, I could say my, my career field and nobody would know what I make. I think the, the average bus driver makes what? About, okay, yeah, yeah. The average, I, th- I think they said the average bus driver makes about 42000 Yeah. Hmm. Um, and that's on the high end. So, I mean. Uh, Starting pay for bus drivers for Metro mm-hmm. out here in Houston is $21. Now, I know personally, my mom's a supervisor there, but I know personally they get a substantial increase for the first two years every six months. And then you can qualify for the next position 
which will bring you close to thirty dollars a hour. Well, see, that's for Metro though. That's for Metro though. Because if you work at for Houston, the city, is if, if you work for like the school district, you probably ain't getting twenty. That's true. That is Maybe true. Getting sixteen. If you a season, mom's nah, she wasn't with the school when she was doing that. If you're a seasoned worker with the school, you probably can get 22 to 25, just depending on how many years you've been there. You get what I'm saying? But I'm just, just, this is strictly in Houston, goddamn me. But I know people doing this, making 100 bands a year. But see, I don't even think the pay is the issue. I think it go back to a question that O asked a while back. He was talking about, would you date a garbage man? Mm-hmm. And as we know, a lot of garbage men get to that bag, but it's the title. Mm-hmm. That kind of just like, wait, what? Drive buses, garbage, man. Nah, I'm cool. They think they deserve better than that title, and that's what Ayala is talking about. It's like our expectations are not realistic. One, because we don't have the information for them, too. And two, we, we're too ignorant and too, I guess, arrogant to go actually research what these men make. And you'll realize, well, damn, <laughs> this man make more money than the type of dude that I'm chasing after. In, in reality, well, depending on his ranking there, let's, let's, let's establish that. Um, but for you to just denounce the whole occupation as a whole is ignorant to me. But yeah. can I be mad at the preference? No. What you prefer is what you prefer. But clearly your preference not working. And I think we got to speak to that as well. But before we do, she was on Breakfast Club. And she got into a bit of a tift, a bit of a kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. A hoo-ha. A hoo <laughs> I can't really use that shit. Where did you get that word from? Hey, been looking it up. Looking it up. <laughs> looking it up. That shit came looking out of the Looking it up by Wow. All right, let's see what she had to say on Breakfast Club, man. She said, too many of us settle for just being mediocre, man. <clears throat> mediocre. It's a lot of <clears throat> mediocre people. What's y'all thoughts on that, man? We make a lot of money. <laughs> we as a community. Mediocre. Oh, what's your thoughts on that, man? <laughs> Mediocrity. I think she made some valid points, but I also think that they was her and DJ Envy and Ayana. They was both arguing kind of two different points. It seems like um, when Ayana was talking to her, it was just she asked her. She did ask her a direct question: Would you date a bus driver? Mm-hmm. And if you asking her her preference with the money she makes, more than likely, hell no, she's not gonna date no bus driver. If you mm-hmm. asked an average person, then that's that's kind of that's a different conversation. Even still, I don't think they would say yeah, but um, there was a different conversation. And so, you know, DJ Envy was like, you know, you kind of in a sense you putting down like the everyday people, and she said, I'm not putting down the everyday people. Like this is you, your average, it's modest, whatever you want to call it. Like all of it's kind of fit in the same scale in a sense to me. Um, you know, I guess I don't know. Maybe it was because how she said it. You know, people got offended by it, um, but she's saying it, and I know, I, I know most women wouldn't date no bus driver. Like that's just that's just what it is. Like we know there's a lot of hardworking men that have day to day nine to fives, whatever it is, garbage man, teachers, all that stuff that have nine to five, good people, good human beings, but women don't want that. What they want though. I think you better call Tyrone. One of these days, won't good dick land and or a nigga big, with a hundred million or a dollars to, to to stand with him. Big dick baller and a scammer. He got to be a scammer, be able to stay home and scam, and put down that thing on. They want, shit. They and want, give her all the money from the scammer. They want perfection. They want. They want perfection. They want. I think you guys are being intellectually disingenuous. <laughs> they want. They want perfection. They want perfection because even because even if even if the man made a decent amount of money, he was the height that you wanted. He had the personality. He had all that stuff, and you say, "All right, but his meat not big. He he got two inches. Yep. She's not gonna take him, or he she don't not. have enough time for me. I see. It's it's gonna be. I only see him when it's time to go to bed. What I said, what I said a couple weeks ago, it's gonna be something. Bro, it's no gonna, way, bro. it's gonna be something, dog. This is what I took from it, man. <laughs> um, and just hearing, trying to hear her out. Now, I, I agree. Generally, I feel like you know she she looks down on bus drivers and people who work average jobs, but she can't say that on radio. But you can just tell by how she answered the question. It's like, oh, do you own it? Oh, nah. Then I then nah, I can't do it if you don't own it. You you just tell it's just a certain level of entitlement, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. 
she's worked hard to accumulate the wealth that she has, the lifestyle that she has, and she doesn't want to date a man who doesn't, who isn't able to maintain that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I can't argue with that. Mm -hmm. Now, when she's speaking about the mediocrity piece, I get that a little bit, just a little bit, mm -hmm. because what she's saying is, it's not the occupation per se, mm -hmm. is that you could be out there doing more, but you don't want to. Mm -hmm. You want to just chill and work the job that you're working, or you may want to, but your ass is not, you're too lazy to take the active steps that it would take for you to get that further education, for you to, you know, apply for or get that certification or that, you know, just extra knowledge that could get you in a better position because you're capable of doing it. You're just not doing it for complacency. And she says she looks down on that. Now, now just that, she also said that, hey, if being a bus driver or if working an average job is your ceiling and that's what your, your, your intellect, you know, points to and this is your, this your ceiling. She said, I love you. I respect you. That's what that is. But she says she's speaking to the people who could be doing more but are not. What do y'all have to say to that? I don't think that was explained in Ayana, but she didn't, I don't think she got a chance to read them. So. I don't have no problem with it if it ain't fucking up your household. You get what I'm saying? Like, that. that's the part I don't have a problem with. And she's right about that part. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be out here just giving it all you got in your hustle. You get what I'm saying? But... Right now, you may be comfortable. You may y'all your household may run on on seventy thousand. You make you make that. You got y'all got the cars already. You and bought your nice little house to raise your little family in, and now you comfortable. You that job or whatever you doing may provide enough time for you to work and be a father, be a husband, and all that type of shit. I don't call that complacency. I don't. I can't. I can't call that complacency when you're doing what you're supposed to do. Now, if you being mediocre and shit around you is failing, that's that's what I think she's talking about. But if everything around you is running smooth and you just like, man, I'm cool where I'm at, what's the complaint? Your wife good, your kids good, y'all got two working cars, goddamn me, your health is in order, you're not stressing, well, you got little to no stress, what's the problem? Question. We're going to re reformat the question a bit because I, I like where this discussion is going. Let's say we had a kid. Mm hmm and your kid took the SAT exam, mm -hmm. scored a 3,000 or whatever the highest score is on it. Mm -hmm. And he goes to school, drops out after freshman year, like, ah, I ain't really feeling school, man. That's just, that's just not what I'm on. I, I just want to work at Walmart stocking. You know, I just always wanted to just stock boxes and... You know, I just like, <laughs> why are you laughing, I hear, man? And I see where you're going. See what I'm saying? I, I hear where you're going. But wait, let me finish. Okay. Let me finish for, did, for the did, listener. How did he even get the idea that he likes stock, stacking boxes? Because right. he, cause he right. used to come home and have to work there for the summer, and he enjoyed the job. He enjoyed his oh, boss. Okay. He enjoyed his co-workers. So he, he, he enjoyed, enjoyed stacking boxes. Money. Okay. He was stacking boxes. Okay, cool. So, you know, again, he said, look, Pop. just said it. <laughs> <laughs> just dropped out. <laughs> I see no, you stacking on. boxes on come YouTube. On. I got see y'all. See y'all. See how y'all looking down on the average come worker. No, but look, but look what I'm saying is this. <laughs> Let's go. What see y'all. Y'all doing what she said. Nah, but look, I, I, I didn't what, what, what I'm saying is this. Let me I finish. Okay, Let me on. finish. No, we're not gonna let you finish. If he just woke up one day and said, you know what? I want to stack boxes. It already sounds like what the fuck? No, but it's no, 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 no. Because, because, okay. Let's say that you say, look, pop. You know, I know I scored the three thousand on that on that SAT, mm -hmm. man, and I know I'm super smart. And I know I could start this business, so I could do that. I could do whatever. I don't have interest in doing that. Mm -hmm. Stocking these boxes, I'm making eighteen an hour, mm -hmm. and I'm good with that. I got a girl, you know what I'm saying, and that, and that's just it. You know, I, I just want to chill. I just want to stock boxes and just and just chill, man. I don't, you know. Mm -hmm. What what would you say to that? My next question. How, hold up. How, how, old is, how old is this kid? Let me ask that. He graduated. No, school. he like nineteen twenty. He nineteen yeah, he twenty. Like 20 years old. You make it. You making grown decisions, baby. You got your girl and all that. Hey, go do your thing. But you got to go get your own place and all that type of shit. I'm asking him. Do you plan on being a manager? Do you plan on? Yeah, do you plan on moving up questions. at all? Or do you want to do just that? Because then we have questions. He said, "I'm he said, I'm, I'm good with where I'm at. I don't I don't really have aspirations of running the company or moving up and becoming regional director. I I, I just I like That's what I'm cool. doing. Okay, just so you know, son, you have a wife and you have a kid or so. Expenses will come, so you're gonna want to make that elevation sooner or later because your wife your wife gonna push you to get that. Remember this conversation mm -hmm. we having when grown shit start happening yep. to you. 
then you will reconsider and we will have a different conversation. I'm not going to stop you because mm-hmm. you need to bump your head now. But why is that bumping his head if that's what he wants to do? That and is. if I have a woman, because again, we say it all the time. We have is this woman understanding? And say, look, right. your, your woman should be understanding. She should be cool. If that's what my husband is happy doing, I shouldn't be pushing him to be a CEO. I shouldn't be pushing him if to elevate If she is company. understanding if of we that. good with this lifestyle, she good with it, he good with it. She good with it. I ain't that. gotta pay but so, no, no, see, see, no money. See, look at the doubt. Look at the doubt. I ain't, the ain't got no doubt. No that's the, the, that's the, the truth. I, I, I ain't gotta get no money to the household. That's the truth. No, I ain't got to get nothing. He making eighteen. They living it's in enough, they living in a little apartment somewhere. It's enough to provide for their life. They good. I'm good. I'm my son doing all right, man. He it's doing all right. Nope. It's not gonna work because again, going back to what you said, life is gonna happen. Life's gonna happen, but he doing all right. You gonna need some. You gonna need something. You gonna need some. Equipment for football or baseball, whatever we decide to play, you're gonna need something when which requires me to dig further happening. in my pocket. Your woman is gonna start looking on Instagram yeah. and seeing these fancy dates, and she's gonna want one of those, yeah, one or two of those. She's gonna want that real crisp, but that real crisp put y'all put that life bill on the line. You yeah. feel me? And then when that's gonna happen, it's gonna come. The first time, I'm gonna give you the bread, but right. I'm gonna smile with it. It's gonna be a sarcastic. It's gonna and come. And then when you come back again, because you ain't gonna come, the kid ain't gonna come back that next month. Because he felt what I was trying to tell him. He gonna come back four months from now when she wants that date again. Mm-hmm. And then we will have discussions. It's gonna, it's gonna come. What we doing? It's here. gonna happen. But if he says, hey, dad, I'm, you know, I, I budget well. I, I don't need your, you guys' money. I'm, and, I'm, I'm good. Look, I'm making look, 18. And you I'm know good. what conversation I would have with him right, right with that? When he come, after he come back to me, son, sometimes we gotta do what we don't wanna do. Yep. To make sure everything else run around. Yep. I ain't with it. Well, why? Hey, if that's what you want to do, cool. I feel, but why? if your family is suffering. That's not my family. No, no, that's no, his no, family. No, I know. If your, you, I'm you talking like his family. You my I'm son. talking, your son coming to you asking you for money. No, but he ain't, no, he ain't, he ain't asking, asking you for, for money. money. He will. <laughs> she gonna want that boo, Chris. What? She gonna want that state party. She gonna want it. That, that she gonna want it. Hey, you took on, he took mm. on a date. But the lights go off in 30 days. She's well, going to want it. In, in 16 days. At some point in time. What? And now you so, coming to so me you, so you to me. provide a, the missing so, hole that you put so, there. Hold on. Time out. Time out. You can't say if he miss if he go on a date that he's going to miss a light bill. If he budgets well, he's not going to miss a fucking light bill. Bro, he, he throwing his family in mediocre. Now you're you acting kid. like he just, just so blowing his bread. So, so no. y'all agree no. with Ebony. That's why I presented the scenario that way. Look, look, look. So if he's stacking boxes. I just they ain't got no they ain't got no overtime. That's just how that work. I used yeah, to work at Man, yeah, I can't do that. No, we're not making no overtime. How much overtime? How much overtime? How much overtime? Depending on where you work. He said Walmart. So how much overtime? How much was that right now? He might get 15 extra hours. Every week, 15 next hour. So 30, 30 hours a check. It right? don't matter, man. We're going 30 hours. I said 18 hours, what he making? Uh, if he budgets, if he's budgeting well, he ain't asking me for no money. He just said that's what he wants to do. I'm cool with that. I'd rather my son come to me mentally hey, and emotionally stable and happy with his life than to me to have to say, oh, every time he come home from his business meeting, he's stressed out. He don't want to do with this company. His job, the the company's failing. I don't know what else to do. The kids, the family, all of a sudden he eating a bullet. No. All I'm saying is no. I'm happy just, just with everything. Just because he's not living the lifestyle that you want him no, to No, no. I'm happy with everything unless you come asking me for shit. When you start asking me to provide manly duties like yeah. I live there, then we got to have conversations. Because obviously what you doing ain't helping your situation. So at that point, I got to tell you, hey, bro, I didn't want to do this when you was growing up, but I had to do it. Because I had to provide, I had to get that get get it right. I had to do all this shit. But trust me, if I had a choice in this shit and didn't want it to run the, the run the right way, then hell yeah, no, I wouldn't have did. You added a different scenario than what. No, it ain't because your kid. If your kid, if that kid, if that kid, B did not say okay, but, he's gonna come back and ask for money. He just gave one scenario. All Don't I'm, add okay, another scenario. All to I'm it. saying is, if he living straight and everything good, mm-hmm. it's good. Okay. But the moment like you ask no, me for say, money, no, don't add that. Don't add the that. The moment you ask don't me for that. a dime, don't add that. We gotta have conversations. Don't I have that. a problem with it. If you want to work and make that eighteen dollars and do the same thing for forty years mm-hmm. and not try to advance at all in no type of way, right? I have an issue with it. Why? Not, because not. at some point in your life, you should want to elevate. Just as a man, why? 
at, Look, so, at little bit, at least if you're not, if you're going from stock, at least go to manager, lead, hell, something, nigga. Now, Don't you now, do the same damn hey, position now, for 40 fucking hey, years? I will say this. Something, nigga, you a man. Exactly. exactly. You a man. Exactly. So, yes, nigga, you now, need to elevate living the way I'm living, I would be disappointed in my child. I would be disappointed in my son. God damn, what? For what I provide, f- provided for you to get to the position that you... that. The, Yes. The plus lifestyle I gave you, yes. and you want to go stock boxes, bro. I gotta strip you of my name, bro. I gotta strip you of my name. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about strip you of my name. I don't know about that. Hey, time out, bro. But I am saying, listen. But I am saying, I want to push you. This shit, bro. I don't want you coming home. Out, but like I gotta strip you of my name. You bring bro. home C's and D's, and I just say your name is oh, Matthew no, it's okay. Jerome Blank. It is no longer. <laughs> You rent my name until I die, and you're going to do what's right with it. If I didn't, Now, I can see if I was a deadbeat-ass nigga that didn't do nothing, you know what I'm saying, with your life. Wow. But if I'm standing there and making sure you didn't have to do nothing I had to do when I was a child, your life is plush, God damn, all you had to do was worry about your grades, and you turn out to be a smart brother and all that type of stuff. I'm like, style Mediocrity will not be accepted on this, and you will know that. Mediocrity will not be accepted, and the moment you try to choose mediocrity... You know you are, hey, at hey, bro, try. you got to come off my name. I'm at least try. try. I'm sorry. At you got to come off my That's name, all bro. That's I'm saying. At least Now, I can try. see if you tried he did and the try. shit fucked up. He went to school no, for bro, a year. No, he quit. No, no, no. B, B yeah, said, talking, he said, you know what? I'm talking outside of school. I don't even fuck with this. But I'm talking outside he of school. He quit. Bro. That's quitting. When you How was that work? quitting if he was good at it? He made A's. He just he just said, you know what? Because he, he, that's just like, that's just like, goddamn, you become an engineer. You say, God, I get the degree and all that shit. You get the job. You say, you know, and you great at it. You not just you not just with the field. You one of them niggas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you like you know what? I'm done with all this shit, man. I'm going. I'm going stack boxes. How you think niggas gonna look at you? I don't care because I'm happy with my life. How you and what think I'm your doing? family gonna look at you? They, they, they gonna love me for what I'm, I'm doing. Le- I'm letting y'all know right now. My son do that. He let my family down. He let my bloodline down. I gotta cut him down. So he let it, you down because of money. Goddamn. No, no. He That's let me crazy. down yeah. because like he didn't want to lead. He didn't want to. He he's didn't want to understand. No, 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 no. He has a wife and a kid. He's leading his family. He's he's a, he my son coming them, from the left. He's leading now. them to the wrong direction. That's what, what he doing. What? You can't live in Belmar and make uh, stacking boxes, he's, baby. He's you can't get an apartment where I live at stacking boxes, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> that will not be accepted. You at least gotta be on the same playing field as your mom and dad, baby. And that's Even though right I would there. hope, I would want the life that I'm providing. I would wish you. Elevate to a different stratosphere than I could ever see. You get what I'm saying? Because that's my goal in you. You know what I'm saying? To see something, well, to put something in you that, that I didn't even know that I had. You get what I'm saying? And for you to see it and capitalize. But for you not to even, for you to just, in a sense, give up on the effort. I was about to say give up, and basically. You know, I stood, I stood my whole life there to make sure you had the, the opportunity to even see it. That's bullshit. But you said, in a past podcast. I did. I did. That that's your still kids bullshit. don't owe you, don't you owe me a nothing. goddamn You don't owe me no money. That's what you, you don't said. owe me nothing. And let me take that back. You don't owe me no money. You don't owe me nothing. <laughs> take that back. But your ass owe me. You owe me. Hey, for real. Back. Your ass owe me, you know what I'm saying, like for you to go push to be better than this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm sorry. Let's say my son do do that. Right. You think he going to be on the wheel? You think he'll be on my family trust? <laughs> okay, listen. I will get this shit away before extreme. I give it to my I'm son, I'm not thinking boy. it's extremely smooth. But and my wife know that, boy. I give this shit away, boy. I ain't worked this hard, boy. What boy, I, I am saying is, is, damn, at least try. Like, at least become shift leader. He tried, though. Like, no, you didn't try. <laughs> no, you did School is one thing. Man, stop it. But bro. if you decide to stack boxes, if you so if 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 stacking boxes is your passion, passion, you should be good enough to eventually elevate. He doesn't That's want to point. elevate. He just wants to stack fucking boxes. He doesn't want to go from stacking boxes to being shift lead, from shift lead to being manager. That's he true. wants to stack boxes. That's it. He don't give a shit about none of that other shit. That's terrible. When I'm on my deathbed, he know not to show okay, up. Okay, put it my job. I'm a process operator. I work in a refinery. Uh-huh. If I didn't have to train up to the next level of my other job, I would stay where I'm at. Would that make me mediocre? <sighs> make a lot of money, though. Nigga, you don't oh, make so $18,000. Now, 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 now money. There we go. It's the money. Now, now we get the money. Now we get the money. That's what old girl was no, talking about. No, y'all agree with her. Hey, because you no, don't make the money. money. It's the money. <laughs> no. It's the money. She didn't say the money. No, because there's no, plenty she didn't of, say the money. But B, there's plenty of people no. who no. work. There's plenty of people no. who work a lot of good jobs got and, and don't. I got it. They agree. No, no, you, no. no, 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 no. I, I, the difference I is I the agree. money. 
No, that's not the money. Listen, the to, money, listen, to, what, listen to what she's saying. She's saying, does he own the bus or does he drive the bus? Right. Owning the bus? Speaking I make me. the most. Me and then she driving put the bus, mm -mm. you make 50. <laughs> no. What you make 50. Spoke, is what then she gave context after. Is what Kenny now bus has drivers mediocre. make 50. Huh? It's, oh, what Kenny has like mediocre. <laughs> it's what Kenny has average. No. no so no, that, it, that doesn't fall. She's not talking does, about money. Y'all talking about money. Category. She's not talking about money. She's saying you being complacent and you not reaching your Bro, potential ceiling. Money. That's she's what she's talking about. about. Not the money. She's talking. If y'all want to, I will play the clip again. She's That's what money. she's saying. Underline she's talking money. <laughs> Underline she's talking money, bro. She is, bro. Why y'all playing? Like, for real. She Underline is. she's talking money. Come on, man. Hey, because, because, look, because, because, hey, look, wait, 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 because, wait, 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 because wait. she said if he owned it. it so she's so talking you can, money at that point. You can own about. it. No, no. You can own it and just be cool. Stay in there for the rest of your life. I just want to own the bus. That's it. I don't want to own 5, 10, 20. I want to own one bus. So that's the place. Oh, that's time out. So Otis. still, but if you own it, more than likely you that's have real. a little Otis. more money but versus you driving. Yes, or, yes or no? Time out. Otis. Yes or no? Yes. Okay but, then. But for y'all, for the example, B gave with the man stacking boxes, just him stacking boxes, not on her. If he was making thirty dollars an hour stacking boxes, would you still be upset that he didn't? No. No. Oh, so, so it's, it's the money, money with y'all. It's the money. It's money. I said but, that. But time out. But you said you. She said it's no. Money. But time out. She didn't. Time okay. out. She said it's potential. No, okay. but time out. Before that, y'all said y'all didn't. It wasn't about the money. It's the fact that he wasn't trying to uh, progress as a man. Exactly. Be a leader. Exactly. So what is it? Is it him being a leader or him making money? We all know. Both. No, what money is, and leadership <laughs> ties together in this man shit, bro. Y'all don't. Money. Money and the moonwalking. Money, moonwalking. money moonwalking. and leadership ties. Y'all moonwalking, dog. Get out of here. Y'all moonwalking. You knew what it was. Man, it's not what it is, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas not capping here. Y'all niggas big capping here, bro. It's All not. I did was hold the mirror up. That's I didn't even get my dog. opinion on it. We don't need I held the mirror. That's big cap, dog. Held y'all niggas accountable. That's cap, dog. It's not cap. We just said if it was $18 an hour, now he's not being a leader. Because if the field of bus drivers was 30 across the board, then, then women would be like, yeah, I dated bus driver, Thank but you. that ain't the field. Everybody, the field me. makes 42. So out. it's money. Time out. I'm not they don't care about the position. Not... They care about the money. Why are you yelling? So if he was a bus driver making 200000 all yelling? the women out here be trying to date bus Why drivers. Why are you average? It's 42 average. Can't 42 get a word. is under average, right? It's, it's 42 Can't average. 42 Can't is, is average, right? Can't even get a word. Y'all niggas big capping here. Y'all niggas big capping here, man. We got him. Y'all niggas big capping here, man. We got him. Y'all ain't get shit. It's not. It's not. Y'all ain't get shit. It's not. Y'all ain't get shit. It's not. Y'all ain't get shit. It's not. 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 It Instead of the boxing example, we talking about the box. Oh, okay, look, look. The if the boxer. boxer nigga made thirty dollars an hour, you know how many of them niggas are have women? No, time out. I'm talking for you. For which y'all gave an example of you uh, disowning your son because he didn't want to up upgrade. I didn't say disown. Quote unquote. Smooth. You said leave. <laughs> you, 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 okay, leave. <laughs> be upset. Disown. Whatever it is, you wouldn't be uh, approve of that because it was eighteen dollars an hour. And I said if it was thirty dollars an hour, okay, cool. now all of a sudden it's cool, man. And that's wrong. Okay, well let me tell you this. That's let me wrong oh, for no, men no, no, in no, general. I, I didn't. That's I tell y'all this. When my son grows up, the lifestyle I'm providing him, I will look. Down on my son if he doesn't make a hundred thousand, because the wow. lifestyle I provided you, told you around you, nigga, it take a hundred to live here. You want to live like this here? Which eyes? Most people are sheep. That's facts. Most people are what they see. My son only see a great lifestyle. You don't know nothing about the hood. So why would you want to go live in the hood? You wouldn't. You gonna look down on them people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying nobody better than nobody. I'm not saying that. But when everybody know, man, when you start providing certain steps in life for your kids, for somebody that you're providing it for, when they get the chance to lead the situation, motherfucker, I'm not looking for you to take steps back. I'm looking for you to elevate. Take my name to a different stratosphere. And you should be doing the same for your kids. You don't want mediocrity in your kids. You're not going to say that to your kids. Oh, I'm proud of whatever you do, son. So if your kid go out here, you providing a goddamn two, three hundred thousand dollar lifestyle, and then goddamn your kid, 16, 17, they want to sell drugs. What you gonna tell your kid? That's a, that's a totally different example. Bro. That is not. They got kids right now that, that, that think they sell, think they young boy. You, 
you say, in my neighborhood. You go from why are you yelling? In my still, neighborhood, okay. they think they young boy. Why are you still yelling? Don't know nothing about picking up no gun my, in my but, neighborhood. My nigga but, passionate. But second thing is, that's a fact. You go from a kid that's not breaking the law, man. Come on, man. To a kid that's breaking the law to, on, as man. an example. What kind of bad Most example is that? Most people are sheep. You reaching. Man, that's not you reaching, reaching with bro. that example, bro. If, that's if you not say, reaching. If you say you provide, I can say that for my son. If, 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 if you, my son grow up to sell some weed, I'm gonna look at my son crazy. We talking about selling no weed. We talking about selling no weed. We talking about, 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 we we talking about your son. If my son grow up to stack mm. boxes, I'm gonna look at him crazy. Unless it's sixty dollars so an hour. That you don't unless it's unless it's sixty dollars an hour. I'm not saying I don't respect. That's what they're saying. People. That's what they're saying. I'm saying for the lifestyle I provided for my son, you already you we. What's understood ain't got to be explained, son. You know what I'm going to accept around here. You know what's not going to be acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Now, the only thing I don't know nothing about is building a, a, a company from the ground up. If my son chooses to go that route, I exhaust all expenses to make sure I can give him a, a lift in that. But if you're going to go the working route, you know what the, the standards are. You know what that is. And, and stacking boxes, I'm sorry, is not on the list. I'm not even sorry. It's not on the list. All right. So just, so just real quick, let me, let, me, let me summarize this thing. Basically, y'all agree with Ebony Williams. <laughs> and this is why. I agree. I agree. You agree. Right. Because what she's saying, her words, not mine, not, not, not uh, you know, conjecture. This is what she said. She said, my issue is not the occupation. My issue is with black folks. There are a lot of people who are complacent, even though they could be accomplishing more. Okay. So what you're saying is, is that your son growing up in your neighborhood, he has a certain ceiling as far as potential. And you want to make sure that he hit that ceiling. And if he falls short of that ceiling, you're, you're willing to disown him. You're willing to look down on him. You're willing to do whatever. Even if he's 100% happy, stacking boxes for $18 for the rest of his life, bills is paid, he ain't came to you for a dollar, you're going to look at him different. Why? Because he's not living up to his potential. That's exactly fact. what she said. That is a fact. So Brian McKnight is fair to what he did this. Yes. If the, if them kids doing what Kenny said they was doing, hell yeah, he's fair in that. Yeah, but they I didn't live it. up to their potential. Exactly. And you agree with that, right? Yes. Okay, then. That, we got him. 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 I want to hear that. We got him. I don't want to hear that. We got him. Wait. 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 They gotta be drunk. They gotta be drunk. Because I live with the fact that I said I agree with her. No, but you've been fighting this though. I know you said you agree with her, but you've been fighting this. No, I've been holding the mirror up like I just said to show y'all niggas that y'all agree with her too. I've been fighting y'all. I never said I disagree with her. I've been fighting y'all because y'all y'all answer changes if the man was stacking boxes making sixty dollars an hour. You goddamn right. Y'all answers would change. That's what I showed. A little bit, but at the same time, and y'all would and y'all would accept mediocrity. You got complacent hey, hey. is still complacent. So y'all don't know what y'all would accept. Hey, no. Y'all yeah. only accept financial when we, uh, financial exactly. adjustment. When we, when we get there, we'll see. So, so y'all don't agree with it. The money got to be right for me. Yeah, so, so, I tell, so, but so I tell y'all don't agree with it. I, everybody know. I tell people all the time. I can be stack, I can be uh, picking up bodies for El Chapo. I'm not asking what I'm doing. What it pay? If it's going to pay me two, three hundred thousand, man, I ain't got no questions. Give me the money. Okay, so no, and, I pick your, the body up, drop it all good. I ain't even tripping. Your son selling bricks, it paid one million. Nah, but... nah, nah. See that me? Oh, I come oh, from oh, that. Gotcha. I come from that. <laughs> Hold on. My son don't come from that, though. Oh, I got something. My son don't come. That's just a fact. <laughs> every hood walking. nigga will tell you, bro. bro. Hey, this, no, every hood this nigga crazy. will tell you, bro. He if I'm selling bricks again, bro. and I got crazy. kids, bro, I don't want my son being no drug, my kids being no drug dealers. He I'm doing this to provide. He I'm not doing this to show my kids, hey, nigga, you need to be like me when you grow up, nigga. He was better than you. He, he elevated I mean, in no. your field. No, you, no. He was selling dimes. Everybody he know was that, bro. Brick. He was better than you in Everybody your know that, bro. He elevated. Everybody know that, bro. Your word's not mine. People know what I'm talking about, bro. That's just a fact. But I'm saying, okay, going back to one of the words that she used was average, right? Yes. Would you not say eighteen dollars an hour is an average salary? No, eighteen dollars is below no, average. Below average. What would thirty dollars be? Above, above, above average. Above average, right? Yes. So, if somebody were to say that, mm. now I get again going back because my point was hold on, it's eight, 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 eighteen really below average? Yes, it is. Because the average salary is no, 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 Oh, that's what he said. I thought he said 18. I thought he said 18. No, I said 18. 18. Yeah, 18. 18. 18. Now, that's average. Based on what we said, that's average. Not $42,000 a year? 
That's not forty two thousand a year. Eighteen dollars an hour in terms of national pay. That's average. That's about average. That might be above average. So thirty <laughs> yeah. would be right above it, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we we of course we added the context of the actual salary. Mm -hmm. So the initial argument though was the occupation, right, and, and the potential and of the occupation. The, the occupation was that roughly comes out at forty two ish or whatever, like we were saying, average, which will make that person average. I'm only saying just fight to be a little bit above status quo. That's all I'm saying. I want you to be a slightly make. Whatever, just try. Like the like she would like she was saying. Are you bringing home season D's? And I say, oh, it's okay. It's it's all good. Like no, I want to. Why why do you have to see? What are you struggling with? What can I help you with? I'm supposed to be able to provide resources or just some type of help to help you elevate. Let's get to a B and C instead of a C and D. That's like a fact. some type yeah, of progress. Yeah, you talking about a kid though. We talking no, about no, but it still it goes into your life old. too. But that's at still 21 years old, if, if this man said, hey, I found out what I want to do. This is my passion. At me as his father, I'd be like, okay, if that's what you want to do, I'm cool with that. Because here, cool. here's the problem. I want him to try harder. If he says, okay, dad, I tried. Even if he didn't want to try, be like, man, you didn't even try hard enough. Okay, dad, I'll try again. Just to, just to please you, even though I don't like doing this. Well, oh, you, I'll try again. I'll, I'll, I'll try hard enough. No, it's, when, it's is it, when is it just going to be enough? He's like, hey, man, that, I just want to fucking stack boxes, make eighteen dollars an hour. I don't care about driving a Benz. I don't care about driving BMW. I don't care about staying in a mansion. I don't care about none of that shit. My wife don't care about no purses. She don't mm -hmm. care about lavish dinners. Mm -hmm. She likes to cook at home. She mm -hmm. likes to live in the country. Cool. This is what I want to do. Why would you disown your son because of that? Do your thing. You just don't ask me for nothing with the mediocrity. <laughs> I'm That's just saying, I'm try. Saying. I'm just saying, try. If and you fail, if you fail, cool. But at least try. That's, that's my only point. I'm a believer of if I know you can't take care of the shit I'm going to leave you, why would I leave it to you? Why? For you to destroy everything I built? How he can't take care of something you... What? Making $18 an hour stacking boxes, bro. You cannot pay no taxes on a, on a half a million dollar crib, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't pay no taxes on some property in Cleveland, bro. You just can't do it, bro. Hold on. If you're leaving the money... What, I'm what, not leaving him if, no if money. If he's financially stable, that's I'm like not that's, him that's like saying you got a, you got another son that's you know making hundred thousand a year, but he's in debt. He has no financial stability. You gonna leave it to somebody that has no financial stability over somebody that has financial stability and can live off of eighteen dollars? Let, why, me, finish, why, let why me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Financial me, stability because he gotta have one or the other. No, I don't. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The ambition t tells me you're going to try to keep this shit. Now, if shit fall apart in the midst of you trying to keep the shit that I provided for you and I gave to you as a luxury of trying to build your life, that's totally different from you not being not you not you being able to handle it from the jump. That's totally different. I knew you wasn't ready. Why would I give it to you? I see it. We see it all the time in the black community. No, they kids don't be ready. They die, get their kids all this shit. They lose the house in fucking taxes. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I will give it away to somebody I think is worthy before I let somebody lose, before I let my son lose it in taxes or a child of mine lose it in taxes or sell it and, and go do something crazy to splurge in their life or do something stupid like we always see in the black community. We just we just were talking about all this shit last week yeah, with but, the black community. But you Tell said, me that ain't facts. But you said you wouldn't leave it to a son that doesn't care about none of that shit. He just want to stack boxes at $18 an hour. He doesn't want to splurge you shit. Want, you How does throw, that not make you sense? You want to throw my bloodline back to the back to poverty? You gonna do it by yourself? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's just a fact, bro. Hey, you gonna do it by yourself? You gonna do it by yourself? Hey, you ain't gonna do it with the help of me. I love, I love when it's like this. Bro. All right, man. On that note, we gonna we are gonna get into a bite column. <laughs> Wow, that's just a fact. <laughs> Your name is Matthew Jerome Blake. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this? Matthew Jerome Blake. Oh is my crazy. god! <laughs> All right. Uh, this uh, first one is from uh, Braxton. You want to remain on this? Alias Braxton. Okay, what's Braxton? Braxton. 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 Partner Breeze. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my eye on you, boy. I'm gonna keep my eye on you, 
boy. <laughs> Thought that was a fucking What you looking at? You turned his head quick. <laughs> don't you be out of me, boy. I'm on me, boy. Jamie Foxx, for y'all. Jamie Foxx. You didn't think he do 15,000 push-ups. <laughs> Bro, I can't, I can't I do no more push-ups. <laughs> I can't do no more push-ups, dog. <laughs> That nigga was shaking his shit when oh. he shot the sheet. Lord have mercy, dog. It's a classic. Um, all right, Braxton says, I have a dilemma. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get all of your input on it. There's a guy I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. We have been seeing each other unofficially for three years. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, we had a quote-unquote relationship that was a huge mess. He would mm -hmm. talk down on me, mm. call me out of my name, and express how much he could get anyone and uh, how there were girls that would drop it all for him at any moment. Mm. I would get fed up and say stuff back to him, but never anything that was up to what he did. I understand you can quantify rude words uh, because different things hurt people differently, and I'm not proud of it. Fast forward to now, it has been three years since we are and we are retrying this thing. He gets so annoyed when I bring up the commitment, or he'll shell up and act unbothered. He says he has so much on his plate and that women are not an option, but he is always communicating with women. He promises dates and trips, but acts inconvenience when the time comes. But I see how excited he is with other people when it comes to doing things. He has said he sometimes has a better time with other people, or even alone, than with me. Fair. He has so many <clears throat> demands of me, asks me to pay for stuff, and does things for him, but never reciprocates. He acts loved up one moment, then completely withdraws and makes the atmosphere of the relationship seem confusing and hostile the next moment. He says he doesn't like to talk a lot or go out. But he'll ask me for suggestions on things to do when he's planning outings with other people. Damn. My question is, what is your realistic take on this guy? How many times do he got to tell you he don't want you? Because I heard it. What? How many times we heard it in there? At least. It was about 13. Yeah, I, damn yeah, me. I count about 13 of them. <laughs> that boy straight up blatantly told you, look, I don't know. Baby, 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 baby. Look, look, you ain't nothing but a stepping stool in here, you hear me? And you going to give me money. You a, you a stepping stool, but you a piggy bank also. Damn, you two and one. Yeah, I mean, I think he, I think he got the most um, <clears throat> convenient situation, or one of the most convenient situations that I, I've ever heard. <laughs> Been in this situation about three, six years or something like that, and he literally just gets to toy with you, make promises he ain't got to keep. Yep. Um, have sex with you, get all the benefits of being with you, but when you get to talk about commitment, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let me go over to my other chick. You're going that far. Nah, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be taking you on dates. But what's the <laughs> restaurant you'll recommend? Because the time you're coming in town. I'm going to spend my taking time, y'all. Um, so, you know, when a man is making it that that blatant in terms of, you know, his level of commitment, his level of uh, investment in you, I think you got to just take his actions at face value. Seems to me like you're looking for gray area. I tell y'all all the time, gray area is dangerous. This man is putting it in black <clears> and white. <throat> He don't give a damn about you in that All type of a fashion. <laughs> Straight up, so you got to move accordingly. That's my take on it. Do you guys have anything to add to that? She's Straight nope. Up. Straight up getting used in her face. And she like it, too. Because you've been dealing with that for four years, bro. Nothing like, ain't clicked in you to say, look, I'm, I'm done with this shit. I'm done. Like we always say, what you continue... I mean, what you allow would always continue. That's yeah. just what it is. And even more, because he's been taking inch by inch. Jeez. That nigga even suggesting so you. A foot. You know what I'm saying? That nigga <laughs> suggesting you places to take another woman. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. The dude, that boy had the sleeves, boy. The dude said, I have more fun at home <laughs> alone <laughs> than being with you. That's insane. That'll turn me into a demon. Bro, you right. got to get some payback now, nah, man. You got to do something before you cut it off. Something. The writing is on the wall, man. Um, That's our own fault. You know, payback. So, so yeah, Braxton, I think I think you know the answer to this, and I think we've kind of confirmed it. So it's about what you're going to do at this point. Please value yourself over a bit smarter going forward. That man does not want you. It's as simple as that. All right. We're going to keep this next one moving. They want to be anonymous. Come on. Come on. So we only can give you a half a hand clap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you on the free throw line? You on the free throw line? Yeah. <laughs> um, you miss it, you only get one clap. You're right. Damn. Uh, she said, I want to stay anonymous, but smooth, don't hold back. I need help in all caps. Okay, what's up? I've been talking to a solid woman for a few months. Mm -hmm. and I know she wants a relationship. I told her I was looking for something serious at the beginning. 
but recently realized I'm still enrolled in Sleaze University. <laughs> if I get into a relationship now, I'm going to slip up, and I know it. Mm-hmm. So question, how do I navigate this situation while finishing my senior year? Senior year what? At Sleaze Ball University, man. <clears throat> so he, he got a girl that he really want? Got a girl he really want, but you know, he's still engulfed. And sleeves ball you, but he feeling like, man, I'm 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 close to leaving the game, but I ain't quite ready. So how should I navigate this? Because he don't want to lose this good woman. Mm. 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 Damn, I wish he would have asked if they they had a title yet. Well, I wish he would have put if they had a title yet. Shit, sound to me like so he didn't say he just said he's engulfed. He's engulfed with the life, or he's engulfed with the woman. He said he's enrolled at sleeves ball you right right now, and things are you know escalating with this woman. He really likes this woman, but he know he gonna mess it up if he agreed to be in a relationship. He put it all caps. I need help. <laughs> Damn, it sounds like he. It's really only a few months. Woman, yeah, he been talking, but she says he says she's solid. It's only been a few months. It's only been from a few months, and she wants a relationship. Yep. Oh, so you don't know real hard yet. Mm-hmm. He told her that he was looking for something serious at the beginning, mm-hmm. but recently realized the streets. I'm still, out here. The streets yeah, calling the streets my name. Calling, calling. Mm. Damn, you in the hell of a you in the hell of a pickle, boy. Don't get it, yeah. Don't get in a relationship right now. Yeah, you. If he you said he gonna slip up. If you respect her enough, bro, I would tell you for real, for real. Don't even, don't even get in a relationship and tell her what you doing. Tell her, tell her what's really real. If you respect her, she owe that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't respect the situation or what's going on, then do your thing, do what you want to do. But obviously, it sounds like you really respect her and you think she could possibly be something. Shit, if you keep it real, I is, bro. She may wait. She may wait, or you may just be like, fuck it. Let's see where it go. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you're a respectable dude and, and you don't fuck up the you don't fuck up the, the nostalgia of y'all two as far as like being friends and shit, if if it don't work out. But the only way I see that happen is if you being solid. So I would tell you just just see just tell her what's real. Tell her what's really going on with you. And then take it from there. Kenny, I need your help. Mm. We live in a generation of <laughs> not, not being, being in, in love, love and not being together. Mm. We're scared to see somebody with somebody else. Mm, mm, mm. So oh, cry that's... if you need to. Come on, Kenny. <laughs> Come on, Kenny. Boy, if she dip on you, though, and get her another man. <laughs> you, hey, you're going to feel you gonna feel super stupid. Trust me. You're going to feel super stupid. I mean, what is he missing? What, what are you missing? You you said you was looking. She looking missing for something. that it. He was looking for something serious when he started. She's mm-hmm. a great woman. Great, he says. Yeah, but she and ain't now that. he wants to go back and play the field. So what if she's she great? Something. She missing what, something. What is what is what are you missing out of her that you gonna get in the field except for some ass and headaches? I think that might be what it is. It's the the, the access to all the ass. I mean, God it's hard damn, to give up. This this see this is why women say you know that y'all pass up on great women. With some ass When you told her That you was getting serious And she's like Okay let's get serious let's, I'm holding you to your word It's a few months Or well, a few is what Two months mm-hmm. Damn I three. need three months three, three, about three. Three, three months Yeah Yeah, I think you <clears throat> It's only been a few months you, you gotta find out What the hell you You really looking for Out in them streets mm-hmm. Cause you obviously You saw what it was At first And then you wanted To get serious And now it's like Oh shit I wanna go back to the street So I mean this, this is on you But I would tell her I'd be like hey Uh I'm not ready to be in a relationship. I'm looking for something serious, but I'm not ready to be in a relationship. I still want to mingle the field. And you got to take what comes with that. If she dips off on you, hey, that's what it is. But don't try to hold her around for no bullshit so you can play in the streets and then try to tie her down. Yeah. That's, 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 that's some whole shit, if I'm being honest. And I know a lot of us do it, but. All right. Uh, yeah, I think, um, yeah, bro, you're not ready. I mean, it, it, it is what it is. You know it, we know it, she know it in reality, but that's another conversation for another day. Um, but you can't indulge in the fact that she's still trying to drag you into the relationship anyway. You know you're going to drop the ball. And if you really like this woman, you do not want to damage her for when you actually are. And that's what a lot of men don't realize. Like, we'll agree to this relationship before we're ready to be in it. No, we, we know we're not ready. And then we'll drag this woman through the mud, damage her, damage her, damage her, damage her, until it comes around the time that we are ready. And then we expect to get into this relationship and have none of those, you know, effects of that dragging her through the mud affect our new our new relationship. Mm-hmm. It don't work like that. By the time you get around to wanting to be with her, she's not going to be the same woman if you get into it with her right now. 
because that's how much damage that you're going to do to it. So it's not worth that. Uh, it would be best, you know, for you to just let this woman go and pray that she don't run into a dude who ready to have her right now. Do what you got to do to get yourself together, whatever that may be. If you out here sniping these women, get your, you know, get your snipes up and get it, uh, get it out of the way. Get whatever you got to get out of the way. And that way, when you come back to this woman, you'll be ready to hit the ground running. But if you get into it too early, you're going to fumble the bag and lose her forever. Th that's the likelihood. Um, tough scenario. I think we've all been in it. But hard decisions got to be made. <clears throat> Simple and plain. It's early. Yeah, when I did it, I... I just kept doing my thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was me. That's but how was, most men do it. Yeah, and I, I was young, and I saw that, you know, it, it wasn't even about the scarcity thing. It was about I just, it was so plentiful, mm -hmm. you know, and I wasn't ready to, you know, I wasn't ready to commit. So sometimes you got to take some L's. Will that L hurt you, you know, down the line? But that's something that you got to make up, you know what I'm saying, and decide for yourself, brother. But you'll see. Brother. <laughs> brother <laughs> man, brother man. You'll see. All these women about job tickets. That's <laughs> fast. Shake that shit up, boy. Go to the Red Rooster. <laughs> to the brother. To the speakeasy. <laughs> Bud Lights. What was the other one? With your hoop eyes? Yeah. Speak. It was one boy that you had said. Uh, shit, I can't remember, man. But that was the juke joint. The juke <laughs> joint. Yeah, the juke joint. <laughs> That's a fact, man. All right, we're going to get on to the next one, man. It's from Sandra, Patreon. Big oh, Money Sandra. That's big, big Money Sandra? Yeah, man. Big Money Sandra wrote right into the Patreon, man. Okay, okay. She's going to throw up, so it's all going to be big. It'll be big. All right, she says, according to some, in parentheses, repeated cruise season logic, Okay. is it fair to assume most men lie until their actions prove otherwise? No comment. <laughs> you got us. You got us. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I will need to confirm. We all lie. I mean, technically, we all lie. I mean, tell a, a, a fib. You get, you get too personal. Story. Lying is such a subjective <laughs> yeah. thing. It's, it's, it's not really a lie because it's going to happen in the future somewhere down the line. Yeah, I just don't know when. <laughs> a lie just depends on perspective. Is, what universe are we in? Because in another universe, it's the mm -hmm. truth. I'm just a, speaking it's from the Mercury different. retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you'll know. It's the Mercury retrograde. <laughs> um, but to answer the question, you can lie with actions. Too. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. So that you blame the truth. Very true. And lie with actions. <laughs> very true. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Oh my That's, god. What'd you say? That nigga skilled. He's skilled. He's skilled. He's very skilled. Oh man. You gotta watch niggas like that, man. <laughs> um, but to answer the question, yes, you should enter into any union with a healthy uh uh level of skepticism. Yes. Yes, you should. You should assume the lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until proven otherwise. That's just nah, what it is. That's just how it works in this world, that man. That way you won't get let down. If you go into it green. Moving as if things are ideal, you're going to get your heart shattered more times than you're not. That's just reality. Most men are going to lie. Good answer. So, um, so, yes, you should have a healthy level of skepticism. Damn. So I stand on what we said that's, in the past podcast. That's, that's a tough insane. part because, well, I specifically have complained about how hard it is to, get a to earn a woman's right, trust right, and right, having right. to climb this big old fence, which is kind of needed at the same time. But it's like... <sighs> But I haven't shown you nothing outside of that. But that's when I feel like, okay, you got to ease up a little bit. How long yeah. are we talking? It just depends. How, how, four often, how often do we see each other? Four, five months. Yeah, that is true, too. You know what I'm saying? Constant seeing kind of each other for five months, yeah. Mm. 120 like, days of close-to-close -close contact. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga saying it's going to take up three 90 years. days. <laughs> <laughs> Say 90 days? 90 days. Okay, so w within 90 days, that, that, that barbed wire fence should start dropping is what yeah. you're saying. Yes. If you've been consistent. Not, not, not when you had a slip up in there somewhere. Add another well, night. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got to start on probation. <laughs> you got to start on. We extended it. It's 120 now. <laughs> you mess up again, she's jailing your way. That's, That's a fact. That's hey. a fact. You got the one the first now she, time. Now she got to go hit on your partner. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. That's your problem. Um, yeah, man, I think, um, you know, again, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but the fact is, is that, 
you know, the lames is messing it up for the real dudes. Now, you got some dudes that are coming to a situation to keep it all the way a thousand with you. Baby, I don't want a relationship. I'm here for fun. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Let's travel. Let's eat. Let's have sex. That's it. That's all. I don't want no union. I don't want a relationship. But for the, every one dude that do that, it's 20 dudes that come in and lie, promising mm -hmm. stuff that he's not ready to deliver. Mm -hmm. So what that does is, is that that messes the game up. So when she get done with them dudes and then she come to you, you a real dude ready to be straight up, hey, baby, I'm ready to hit the ground running. Let's be transparent. Let's be honest with each other. I like you. I value you. Let's move forward with this situation. In the back of her head, she thinking about the last six dudes who said that and then did something else. So you can't even blame her for having mm -hmm. the skepticism. You baby, can't. I, I promise I'm going to be a good father. But what about the rest of them kids? Man, I just don't fuck with their baby moms. But for you, I'm going to be the best father the world's ever seen. It's tough, man. Nine months later, well, she get pregnant. A month later, she don't even know the nigga name no more. <sighs> hey, you know what? I didn't even think we, we left something off the docket, man. Look. Freddie Gibbs. Oh. Recently. Uh, a day or two ago Yeah His baby mom His new baby mom He got three kids already mm -hmm. um, And he was seen gallivanting around the, the town and Trotting States, Trotting and gallivanting <laughs> With With an With, with an extra with, with an actress Of the adult genre Okay mm. Okay Okay So when he seen this woman Of course he catching a lot of backlash Professional hey, adult star, What you want it? Like yeah So she was She's she's apparently very big In her field Okay mm -hmm. um, But you know One way or another They they, they doing their thing She even helped him out She was fighting with him When he got jumped In uh, New York You know he got into That little beef With Benny the Butcher mm -hmm. And they going back and forth Benny and them Caught him at a little Barbecue spot Out there in Buffalo And they got bad for him mm -hmm. But I didn't know That she was there with him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fighting off the heathens. Mm -hmm. She a real one, huh? right? So she she went on Twitter yesterday or the day before and released a full thread of messages. She said, you know, it's time I tell my story. Now, if you know women. As soon as they say that, you know some shit. Yeah. 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 So, so what she say about them? It's it about 20-something tweets deep. She was oh. talking about, um, you know, about how the promises he made. She's showing text messages, you know, where he's talking about, you know, I see us being together. I see us having kids one day. Mm -hmm. I see us doing this. I see us doing that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, all of these things are happening. And she say on one end, he'll be very loving. And then on the other end, he'll get very distant. Mm -hmm. Now, um, mind you, coming off the heels of that Benny thing, she gets pregnant. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this point, he's out there in Chicago, I guess, visiting his family and his his other kids and their moms and stuff like that. So he's, you know, trying to be a you know great dad and things. But she says she alerts him to this and he goes ghost. Say he don't want no contact with her. So, you know, they they talking about it. They finally lean back up. They talking about it. And he's like, look, man, at this point in my career, my life, extra kid would just be too much for me, man. I can't do it. I already got three. It's going to complicate that. Now, this is on the heels of him leading her on for yeah. a year. And then when she get pregnant, whoa. I mean, I know I said that. But <clears> she really <throat> pregnant now. I think I think you should get rid of it. Oh, you pregnant, mm. pregnant. Hey, you get what you give. So, um, but he was he was saying this so slick. He was saying it like, you know, hey, you know, if you had a kid, I'm going to do what I got to do as a man, you know. But I'm just saying. We ain't in position right now for that. I ain't in a position right now to handle that. Bye, 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 bye. Mm -hmm. So she has the kid anyway. Mm -hmm. And then she tries to reach out to him, and he ain't responding. His manager not responding. His, his homie's not responding. She calling everybody. His family ain't responding. And so that's what made her come to Twitter to tell her story. Mm -hmm. So I, I brought that story up as an example as to what you guys were talking about. Yeah. So that's a, that's a real-life example that just happened. Why she got to tell the Twitter this whole? Why she got to tell the whole population this story? Why she couldn't just take it to the judge? You know they gonna blast them, man. That's what they, they got, got to, to do, us, baby. They, that's they out. There. That's just how it go. Yes. But then that's also, you know, she may feel like that's the only way that he gonna actually respond, right? By having mm -hmm. the heat on his back, right? Respond to do what? Contribute be a father, some kind of way. Do something. You know what I'm saying? Show up. He ain't gonna contribute in the way that she want him to. That yeah, is a fact. Now not. he's gonna that's contribute with not. resentment. Yeah, yeah, resent no. Mm -hmm. I got something better for and that. that ain't, and that ain't good for your kid, but man. Taint his image, you know, for her. See, it's gonna be, it's gonna shake him up. It's gonna make him do something. Hopefully, I think that so she crazy. just going to, you know, extreme measures. She get, she feel like she gotta do what she gotta do to get his attention. He not answering. The family not answering. So all right, well, since nobody answering, here we go. So judge. <laughs> 
order in the court. Order in the goddamn court. <laughs> but if it's true, you know, he don't want to be around. He don't want to stay. He don't want to contribute. I mean, you know. Yeah, if he already told you he didn't want the kid, I mean, it's. You knew, in my opinion, she knew what she had to do because she told you from the jump. He told you he didn't want no kid when you told him. So if you was going to have that kid, you know, in my opinion, you knew child support was going to be involved in this shit. And the odds of him being a father for real was slim to none. Uh-huh. So you, you got to live with that, which I think is fucked up, but you got to live with that. But it takes two that is true. to make a child smoke. That is true. And it's fucked up she on this end. I will never herself. give him a pass. But... With a, she 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 showed text messages of him saying I, verbatim out of his mouth, "Hey, bro, I don't want no kid. I'm not in position to do that." But you get what I'm saying? You can't tell and her what to do with her body. That's true. That is, I'm not telling her what to do. She knew she was gonna have a kid regardless of what he said. Nah, but see that that's the thing. She said she was actually leaning toward getting the the abortion, mm-hmm. or whatever, but then he got dissing on her. Oh, she started, started so she so she it. kept it out of spite, basically. Wow! I'm gonna keep the kid regardless. So she's saying she kept the kid because he got get distance. That's what she's saying. Hmm. That's what's that's, that's not right. But she, no, but 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 this is the thing. She said she was going back and forth with it regardless. But he was pushing her toward the abortion, mm-hmm. and she says she was caving to his demands because mm-hmm. she she was like, I don't want to bring a kid in the world, and you know we not in love. We not yes. in a loving space. We yes. not on the same page. And he was like, yeah, he said, I get it, you know, but if, if you had a kid, I'm going to step up and I'm going to do what I got to do. She was like, because it's options. I could get the abortion. Mm-hmm. I put the kid up for adoption. And he's like, nah, you ain't, you ain't no kid of mine going up for adoption. No kid of mine going to be in the world and I'm not taking care of. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, he's basically saying, I ain't telling you what to do, mm-hmm. but I'm saying this is a lot for me right now. And then him being distant on top of that. So now, the, so <laughs> gave her the reason to say, you know what? Say, so you know what? I'm gonna keep the kid now. Yeah, she had what? the baby out of spite, so right. she knew. Shit crazy when you she think knew about. what was gonna happen, bro. So why blast her? Again, like she knew what you, was gonna happen. Once you give them that choice, you can't do shit yeah, about it. It ain't nothing you, you can do. You can get them five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, whatever. If she not gonna go through with it. That's her decision. And then on top of that, yep, that's her decision. In, you put that seed inside of her, and she knew what it what it was gonna be. She knew what it was gonna be. So, in my opinion. All that shit is wrong. You know what I'm saying? You should have just handled it discreetly. Because you knew from the jump this nigga wasn't going to be in that kid life. You knew that. Y'all had them conversations already, and he got ghosts on you, and you had the baby out of spite. But see, he didn't say he was going to go ghost. He said that if you have the baby, I'm going to step up, and I'm going to do what I got to do. Now, our relationship is going to be over with. Yeah. But I'm going to step up and be the father that <clears> I need to be if you had his kid. Mm. That's what that, that's, that's what he said. Mm. Those is his words. Yeah. Hey, well, she knew child I, I read him. <laughs> Child support was in order, so she should have just went and filed some child support and told that nigga at court, hey, if you decide to be a father, we standing there. If mm-hmm. not, your money's standing here. Either way, we good. Yes. Yeah, how good. many baby mamas you got? Uh, I think two, three. Mm. Three. Mm. Three See? baby mamas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another example. Yeah, three of them. One man with multiple baby mamas. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you willingly decided to add to the count. Mm. Damn, I'm so tired of being right on this part. Ain't saying all the right spice. things. <laughs> Ain't doing all the right actions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to get to the last one of the day. This from Christina, Patreon. Okay. Is that good? Mm-hmm. What up, Christina? It's been a minute, man. What you been Hell on? Hell yeah. Um, she said, I think you guys should have a discussion about young men being groomed to be horse." Before they are grown to be leaders and husbands, mm. and how this vicious cycle has also been a detriment to future households. Mm. That's crazy. It's men being groomed to be whores. And what? Instead of being groomed to be leaders and husbands. What do y'all think that stem from? What do y'all think the effects of that is? Man, watch the last this. part. That's that's my response. And part of part of it too is our culture but like the 80s 70s 80s like yeah like 70s 80s like how the pimp culture was hot and stuff mm-hmm. like like if that's the way like guys guys were making money off that mm-hmm. and women were knowing what these dudes were doing yet they were still going out there and getting that type of lifestyle because of the quick access to the money and all that stuff like it's unfortunate. Like so that's that's just one area. But then the other aspect is, <clears throat> like I said before, a lot of us were just saying, get it out your system. Right. Because they know how our hormones are. We just so ready to just 
punch on anything. So as when we're younger, they just say, hey, go get out your system first before you settle down. So I think we are taught to settle down eventually, but you got to, in a sense, kind of go through some things to understand why it's not good for you down the line. Mm -hmm. Now, not saying that's the right way, but for a lot of people, you got to experience it to understand. Like you can teach somebody and tell somebody all day long. Some people don't learn by that. Some people learn by being in situations. Other people learn by sitting back and watching everything else unfold and then go in the opposite direction. But if I tell you the stove is hot, but I go on the stove and I put my hand on them like, it ain't that hot. So you want to find out how hot it is to you too. That's just how, we, how everybody live life. And it's unfortunate. And like I said, like I've always said too, like if I'm giving game, I would definitely tell them don't do the things that I did. Right. You know, even though I did it, like I, that wasn't the right way to go because I wanted to be promiscuous and I wanted to be out there. I wanted to see what was all out there. I wanted to taste the flavors, test them out. Like <laughs> that's just what it was. But it wasn't the right way because then coming into relationships, you kind of you do get jaded, you do get confused. It's like more that adds. The more experience you have, the more confused you can get before you can really come to a solid conclusion because you have so many choices. It's like going to Raising Cane's or going to a Cheesecake Factory. Hmm. Cheesecake Factory got a hundred things on the menu. You go to Raising Cane's, you're going to pick four things, five things. That's it, that's all. And they all nasty. So if you know, Whoa, <laughs> I'm not going to let you disrespect the like I'm that. Just, no, Jesus. Just speaking, Raising Cane's is trash. The sauce hit. But, yeah, I mean, if, if we had less experiences, I think it it wouldn't be as bad. It wouldn't, like, jade our perception and shit, the baby mamas that we have, the STDs, you know, all that stuff. That would, that would, all that would go down. But, mm. but you want yeah. me to choose Raising Cane's over Cheesecake Factory? I just want the cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who made the cheesecake? <laughs> <laughs> Can't that bullshit. I'm taking Cheesecake Factory every time. With, with the strawberry drizzle on it. Like, everything <laughs> drizzle over you. Dri oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Y'all hear this? Wow. Y'all hear this? Wow. <laughs> slid that Where the gun at? <laughs> what a small. Oh, we ain't got the small. No, no. Wow. Oh. Chocolate drizzle on the oh, show. Chocolate drizzle on Z Eddie. <laughs> um, but here's here's the thing. Do I don't I don't I don't I don't disagree with nothing O said, but I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Uh Kenny, at what age is that no longer an excuse? What? In terms of our upbringing and our grooming in comparison uh, to how we lead and how we be husbands. So at, at what age is that no longer an excuse? Uh, shoot, man. If I could give an average age, because I don't know if it's a definite age, I would say uh, from being a hoe to being husband material. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me, 45. Wait, let me, <laughs> let me clarify. <laughs> let me clarify. <laughs> It's not that. It's it's at, at what age can we no longer use our upbringing as an excuse not to be a good husband? Oh, oh man, I would say twenty twenty one. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Twenty twenty one. Okay. I think you didn't got at least two years out of the household by then. And you know you're on your own, seeing the world a little bit more than what you were used to at high school. However big your high school was, if it had only 200 kids or 2,500 kids in graduating class, you know it's yeah, I say 2021. 20, mm. Yeah, so you think that's enough time to re reverse all that program? I wouldn't say reverse. I don't think you can reverse it, but I think you can understand become, become it better aware. in your own in your own words or. How you you be able to handle it? How you need to handle it? Because oh, we're not the same as our parents or as our fathers. You know, we handle situations totally different mm -hmm. and think totally different. So, I think the wisdom and guidance that they give you, I think you have a way to make it to where it works for you mm -hmm. and understand it in a way that works for your lifestyle and how you do it. But I say by twenty twenty one, you know the the pros and cons of what you're doing, mm. especially how you handle a woman if you dealt with one at that. Stage in your life mm -hmm. Between those ages If you don't start Dealing with women Until you're like 20, 21 Then 
They'll probably go a little bit further than that, maybe 23, 24. Because I think you have to deal with at least one or two women before you understand. The the baggage that you bring into the, the situation? Or, or, you know, oh, with, or just, you know, dealing with other people, dealing with the, the, other, the other sex. Mm-hmm. Men handle situations totally different than how women handle situations, and understanding how to go through that process properly, and not just resorting back to pettiness or just doing what you want or not caring about their feelings or <coughs> stuff like that. I, I think you got to go through it first before you, because people can tell you whatever they want, but you experiencing it is a whole totally different thing. That's true. true, and our, our social media. Especially like I think about that and how it plays a part in in part of dating. Like when we was coming up, we was able to have MySpace, your uh, Black Planet. So we was able to you can you can talk to a girl in LA or you can you know what I'm saying you can flirt you can get some pics here and there whatever. Mm-hmm. Versus our parents, you know they didn't have access like that. They had to actually go to the person. Right. You couldn't send no picture, no text message. Like no. Like none of that stuff. And now it's even more. You can FaceTime, you can all these other social sites that you can meet people on and stuff. So it's it's harder now, um, which but also I think it even though it's harder because you have so many just distractions, I think that can also make it easier in a sense because you can just turn it off. We I don't want to say it's easier. Yes, yeah, I can. I still because you you can't you can't turn off and separate like this is online and this is real world. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that at all. I think that's dangerous. Yeah, some people can't. Mm-hmm. Most people can't. That. Yeah. Most people can't. You know, it's just like people that's, you know, we, we, we say about rappers all the time, right? It's like you can't be a rapper and be a street dude at the same time. You got to pick one because mm-hmm. eventually those two are going to merge and you're going to get yourself in trouble. It, but it's, it's, it's just like that. It's just like dudes that be in relationships feeling like, okay, I can be the man outside. I, I can be who I am outside, but when I come home, I can be this domesticated, buttoned down, you know, hey, I'm the I'm the man of the house, I'm the husband, I'm the leader, and things of that nature. You you think you can do both. Most men are arrogant enough to believe we can do both mm-hmm. until that outside start affecting our household, which it will eventually. You may get away with it early, but eventually it's going to start affecting your household. So you got to pick one. Either I'm going to be outside doing my thing as reckless as I want to, or I'm going to get that up and I'm going to stay at home. I'm going to be a domesticated, grown-ass man that's leading my household. That's not saying I'm never going to go outside, but that's saying that my reputation outside, I'm letting that go to be this new man. You can't do both. Trust me. I'm your, speaking from experience. Your reputation won't precede you from being outside then out. Your, your reputation outside will, will, will serve as a detriment to your relationship, period. So, you know, a lot of men think that they can, you know, do it, but, but that's why I asked. At, at what age? But why though? The programming, the grooming that she's speaking about. That's why we do that. That's why we spend so much time, energy, and effort in developing that reputation outside and have so much pride in it because this is what we've been groomed to do. This is what we get praised for doing all yep. of our life yep. from everybody, our homies, our daddies, our uncles, the women that we date. Value this, this you know, aesthetic of us getting all these women and things of that nature, even though they'll never admit it, but that's the truth. So it's just like I take that age back. For? I'm going 24. Okay, that's what I'm about to say. I'm about to say that, that quick. You think I'm going 24? Let me add in the alcohol and a little bit of drugs. <laughs> oh my god! I a think, little bit of money. Yeah. I think yeah. I think if you in a smaller town, it's easier to go that route. But if you in a big city, yeah, it's definitely later on. Yeah, Definitely man. at 24 that you're talking about, but the small town, she would be 17, 18, getting married, yeah, cause you still did, together. Because you didn't already hit everybody. It ain't but 36 people in the time. You didn't <laughs> hit all, of the, all the potential women that you would be with. You already know what that is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They probably already cuss. <laughs> <laughs> by marriage, by marriage, by marriage. <laughs> but, in, but, but, but somewhere like Houston, you can go outside 10 times in Houston. Meet a girl the first time you went out and never see her again. Yep. Mm-hmm. Go to the That's same. just how yep. big this city is, bro. And it's just like, so that so that that called as the hesitancy. I think I was reading the article. They said, you know, Houston are the least faithful men in the in the country, is what they say. Houston, Houston men or Houston women? Houston men are the most unfaithful men in in the country. That's just that, I don't even that must have been a that. Twitter poll. That's the it was on the news. Cause my, my thing is, have y'all walked around Houston? Like, where do y'all get these bro. stats from? 
But if y'all seen these women, <laughs> <laughs> if you seen these, <laughs> they be with brunch with one nigga, dinner with the next. That's a fact. And That's do it fact. again the next day. The, the, the Houston women ten times more savage than the, well, the Houston might, men. They Let's might do two it. brunches. Put if the nigga got to do something early. Yeah, real, that's heavy. But don't let both niggas have sections. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, they gonna walk back and forth to both. Exactly. Of them. That's a fact. <laughs> and leave drunk. And lie to both of y'all. That's just my friend or my cousin. And call the nigga that don't have no money. And that's the way she slipped in. That's a fact. <laughs> That's the game. And Pee Wee at the highs. You left all this money. Pee <laughs> Wee at the highs beating. And the rest of them like, damn, I spent all this money on Jordy. That's the game. <laughs> that is the game. It's what sad, but Shorty? that's the game. I spent all this money on Shorty. But uh, but yeah, prayers to all parties involved. Um, you know, as men, if I'm if I'm looking back at my age now, advising y'all, I say get out the game as early as you can. Get out of the game. I, I understand. I know the, the allures. I know you got these women. There's 10 of them on you. These three bad. This, this one. I'm going out to this party. I pull four numbers out. I, I, I get it. It's like 10 women in my DMs. All that. I, I understand. Get out the game as early as you can. Find one that you know going to be solid, that you know going to ride with you through everything, and get the hell out the game. Because the older you get, the harder it is to do it. Mm-hmm. Because now women got kids. Now women got baggage. They got a whole bunch of different, you know, traumas and things of that nature that they done developed Mm -hmm. from dealing with all of these men as y'all getting older. So now you 30, 32, and like, all right, I'm ready. And it ain't no woman that you would be willing to settle Mm -hmm. down with that is available to you. Mm -hmm. Or they are very scarce, and you ain't lucked up to run into one yet. So if you can run into her early before all of that trauma and Mm -hmm. stuff comes into play, do that. And create the trauma. <laughs> oh my god. Make sure she The harder it gets, the harder you get. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong? Hard, hard. Hard, hard, hard. Make sure she's bringing the same energy that you bring in too. I think that's very important. Do not be out here chasing these women. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, nah. hell no. Nah. My nigga Larry say the game get tricky. You gotta stay on your toes. Stay focused, my nigga. Stop chasing these hoes. Goddamn B. That's real. That's real, man. And that's a very eloquent way to wrap this eloquent part. Mr. Liquor kicking in. Eloquent way to wrap this thing up. Y'all boys got any last words before we get the hell up out of here? I ain't got nothing, man. Cool in this week. Same old like every week. Appreciate the support, the love. We uh, comment, like, share, like, 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 <laughs> like, YouTube, everything. Hold we up, put I do out, got like, spread it. I do got something. I got one thing. Didn't we tell y'all goofy ass the last episode? Stop emailing. <laughs> with what's going on with your life, bro. Like, we not reading that joint, man. It's in a paragraph? Man, more than a paragraph. Bro, have you over to me, man? I didn't read that one. Bro, it'd be three of them bitches. They must be on a computer. <laughs> bro. Yeah, they be. Yeah, Stop they be sending it through detail. the email, man. Yeah, you want your stuff answered? Two dollars. Patreon, two dollars, bro. You can pay for it for one month, man. We ain't doing no tripping, man. You do it one month. I mean, you can send it to IG. It just probably won't get read for a couple months. Probably a year. But that's a fact. I'm going to go in the archives and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give y'all some responses. Mm-hmm. This nigga lying to y'all. <laughs> I got one we ain't put it out yet. Yo, show us. Don't, don't fall for mm-hmm. it. Yo, you know, come over here. I'm just come saying, man, side. like, y'all mm-hmm. want y'all stuff answered quickly. Y'all know where to go. Patreon. And it won't be answered in the email ever. I'm sorry. Especially that email. That email is business only. You calling with your whole life story. You know what I'm saying? Trying to holler at one of my partners and you 67 years old. Nah, you gotta relax. 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 All right, man. We appreciate everybody coming out. Just, just let them know. Y'all think it's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, man, all merchandise available, man. Crewseason.com. Uh, salute, salute to everybody that participated within the sale. The sale has ended. So to everybody that was able to get in and uh, get up out of there before the sale ended, man, everybody who ordered some merch should be either there or on the way. All shipments have went out. We appreciate it. Um, and for those who hadn't purchased something, man, tap in anyway. Cruiseason.com. I got I have another sale coming me. soon. Got some new stuff coming. And it's going to be hard with a T when it drops, man. So make sure y'all show up and support. What we dropping? Uh, Crusader Nation, man. Appreciate y'all. Patreon, Sleazeball, you. Goddamn rude. Appreciate y'all, man. It's been a hell of a ride, man. A hell of a ride. Um, 
And again, it's only getting bigger. It's only getting better, man. And y'all ought to thank for that. Uh, just like O said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Keep that, keep man. sending the videos All to your man, man and arguing with him. And eventually, he gonna get on. He gonna, he gonna get right. Now he may hate us, but he gonna get right. And at the end of the day, if that's accomplished, then I'm I'm, I'm cool with that. But uh. But yeah, we appreciate all the support. Fellas, share with your ladies too. I need some arguing. So, <laughs> I need some arguing. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so on that note, man, we're going to catch y'all next time. We gone, man. She was just there for the season.